Life today feels anything but simple. We're constantly juggling more than we can manage, bombarded with information, rushing through daily routines, sidestepping conflict, and trying to keep up with others' expectations. It's like we're stuck on a treadmill we didn't sign up for, running faster just to stay in place, with barely a moment to catch our breath. But what if it didn't have to be this way? There is a way to live fully without all the clutter and stress. A path to clear the noise, find balance, and build a lasting foundation of peace. That path is rooted in ancient Stoic wisdom, a philosophy born thousands of years ago that has stood the test of time. The Stoics, known for their remarkable resilience and insight, taught that life could be simple, purposeful, and free from unnecessary worries. They believed that true happiness isn't found in what we acquire or accomplish, but in how we approach life itself, with calm, strength, and a deep sense of contentment. To some, this idea might seem far-fetched. We're conditioned to think that more is better, that the pursuit of more stuff, more success, more social validation will eventually make us feel complete. But the Stoics offer a different perspective. Life becomes richer, not by adding things, but by removing what isn't essential. They believed in keeping only what adds true value and letting go of everything else. This way, life can unfold without the weight of excess baggage. Stoicism isn't about withdrawing from the world or giving up on ambition. It's about clearing out the obstacles in your path, whether they're toxic relationships unnecessary anxieties, or even physical clutter, so you can move forward with clarity and purpose. Picture waking up each day feeling light, knowing exactly where your focus lies, and moving through life with a sense of calm confidence. That's the promise Stoic principles hold. This isn't just philosophy. It's a set of tools, proven and practical, that anyone can apply to their daily lives. And at its core, Stoicism isn't complicated. It's not about memorizing long lists of rules or living under rigid discipline. It's simply about aligning with what truly matters, seeing clearly what's in your control and what isn't, and letting go of the rest. Many of us go through life feeling burdened by things we can't change, replaying regrets or worrying about the future. The Stoics taught that peace comes from focusing only on what you can control, freeing you to put your energy into the present moment. Imagine this. You're facing a challenge at work or in your personal life. Instead of feeling overwhelmed, you pause, take a deep breath and ask yourself, what part of this is in my control? By focusing only on what you can influence, you can let go of everything else. This simple shift can make the heaviest burdens feel lighter. And over time, you build a mindset that isn't shaken by every obstacle, one that meets life's storms with resilience. Another pillar of Stoic wisdom is simplicity. Stoics believed that by embracing simplicity in every area of life, whether it's decluttering your home, cutting down on unnecessary commitments, or removing toxic influences, you can find space to breathe, think, and grow. In today's world, where we're often stretched thin, the idea of simplifying might feel like a relief. Imagine waking up in a space that feels peaceful and organized, your thoughts unclouded by distractions, and your heart free from resentment or insecurity. One of the most transformative aspects of Stoic philosophy is its emphasis on emotional resilience. We live in an age where emotions can run high, where we're encouraged to react instantly to every frustration, and where society often pushes us to respond to negativity with even more negativity. But the Stoics understood that emotional control isn't about repressing feelings, it's about recognizing them without being ruled by them. By practicing emotional detachment, you can acknowledge your feelings without letting them drive your actions. This doesn't mean being indifferent, but rather developing an inner strength that protects your peace, even in challenging situations. 
And of course, Stoic wisdom also teaches us the importance of saying no. So many of us struggle with this tiny, powerful word. We say yes to things we don't want to do, filling our schedules with obligations that drain us. But the Stoics believed that a well-placed no is a vital tool in protecting your focus and energy. Every time you say no to something that doesn't align with your values, you're saying yes to a life that reflects who you truly are. Consider the freedom that comes from stripping away everything that complicates life. You'd have fewer things to worry about, more mental clarity, and an overall sense of lightness. You'd be able to focus on what truly matters, your relationships, your growth, your purpose, and the experiences that bring you joy. Stoicism shows us that less isn't just more, it's the pathway to a life without unnecessary complications. And while the world today might seem vastly different from ancient Rome, the problems we face are strikingly similar. Fears of uncertainty, pressures from society, and the human tendency to focus on things beyond our control. Stoic wisdom has lasted through the centuries because it provides simple, profound answers to these universal struggles. It gives us the tools to manage stress, build resilience, and find contentment that doesn't rely on external circumstances. When you start living according to these principles, you may notice something remarkable. Life feels lighter. You feel less drawn to petty drama or constant comparison. You may find that you're able to walk away from situations and people that drain you, that you can focus on your own path without needing validation from others. Stoic principles don't promise a life without challenges, but they offer a way to meet those challenges with grace and strength. In a world obsessed with speed and excess, Stoicism gives us permission to slow down, step back, and focus on what genuinely matters. This journey towards simplicity isn't about sudden radical change, it's about small shifts in perspective that gradually lead to big transformations. It's about being mindful of how you spend your time and energy, choosing to focus on what aligns with your purpose and letting go of distractions. The Stoics believed that the quality of life isn't measured by wealth or status, but by the depth of one's peace, wisdom and resilience. They understood that true freedom comes not from acquiring more, but from needing less, from cultivating a mindset that finds joy in simplicity and strength in inner contentment. What awaits on this path isn't an absence of problems, but an abundance of clarity, calm and control. Stoic principles offer a guide to help you clear the clutter, silence the noise and live with intention. In every small choice to let go of what doesn't serve you, you'll find a growing sense of freedom and lightness. You'll see that peace isn't something to chase. It's something you can create right here in this moment. And the best part? This path is open to everyone. It doesn't require wealth, status, or even a special set of skills. It only asks for the willingness to look inward and a commitment to simplicity. So if you're ready to step off the treadmill, to leave behind the constant rush and distraction, Stoicism can show you the way. It's a journey that leads not only to a simpler life, but to a stronger, wiser, and more fulfilled version of yourself. The steps are simple, the results powerful, and the journey deeply rewarding. As you explore these Stoic principles, be open to the possibility of change. Be open to the idea that less can indeed be more, and that by letting go, you gain so much more than you lose. Because in the end, a life without complications isn't about having everything. It's about having what matters. And that, in the Stoic view, is the ultimate freedom. The beauty of simplicity is more than just a philosophy. It's a profound way to embrace clarity, peace and ease. Our world today often celebrates accumulation. The more we have, the more accomplished we're told we'll feel. But what if true success and happiness lie not in adding, but in subtracting? 
There's a certain liberation that comes from paring down, from letting go of what's unneeded and focusing only on what truly enriches your life. This isn't about scarcity, it's about finding fulfillment through purpose, about living with intention instead of reacting to the world's noise. Stoicism offers a timeless guide on how to do just that, to clear away the clutter, physical, emotional and mental, and live with lightness. Through Stoic principles, you'll uncover a path to inner calm, a way to approach each day without the weight of excess, and, most importantly, a way to see that every small step toward simplicity is a step toward freedom. Simplicity isn't about having nothing but about having exactly what you need and valuing it deeply. When you begin to embrace a simpler life, distractions start to fade and you're left with what truly matters. Stoicism reminds us that by focusing only on the essentials, we gain something more valuable than material wealth or surface level success. We gain time, mental clarity and a calm spirit all things that money can't buy, but that a simpler life can bring. This principle of mastering simplicity can start in the space around you. Look at your physical surroundings and begin with what you own. Stoic philosophy encourages us to ask, does this item serve a purpose or add meaning to my life? If it doesn't, it may be a source of unnecessary mental clutter. By letting go of these unneeded possessions, you free up physical space and, by extension, mental space. The less crowded your surroundings, the more room you have for creativity, thought and relaxation. You may notice that as you reduce physical clutter, your thoughts also begin to simplify, allowing you to focus more on what truly deserves your attention. Moving beyond possessions, Mastering simplicity also applies to your commitments. Each yes to something unimportant can take time away from what genuinely matters to you. Stoic wisdom teaches us to be selective with our commitments, choosing only those that align with our core values. By saying no to obligations that don't serve you, you're not only honoring your time, but also preserving your energy for the things that bring true fulfillment. It's not about closing off opportunities, but about making room for the ones that resonate with your purpose. A simpler life also means simplifying the way you approach relationships. The Stoics believed in surrounding themselves with those who uplifted them and brought wisdom, rather than with people who drained their energy. Take a closer look at the people in your life and consider who encourages your growth and who causes stress. By gently distancing yourself from relationships that add unnecessary complications, you create space for genuine connections based on mutual respect and shared values. Remember, quality in relationships will always matter more than quantity. Your mindset, too, can benefit from a simpler approach. Our thoughts can become as cluttered as our spaces or schedules, Stoicism offers tools to clear mental clutter through practices like reflection and acceptance. Each day, take a few moments to ask yourself what's truly worth your concern and what isn't. Often, we find ourselves stressed over things outside our control. A stoic approach would suggest focusing only on what lies within your influence and letting go of the rest. By doing this, you can release anxieties that never deserved your attention and cultivate peace of mind. Emotions play a significant role in complicating our lives, often pulling us into a whirlwind of reactions and distractions. Stoicism teaches emotional detachment, not as a way to suppress feelings, but as a way to understand them without letting them control you. When a challenging emotion arises, pause and ask yourself why it's there. Is it rooted in a genuine issue within your control, or is it a reaction to something external? By observing your emotions rather than being swept away by them, you can make clearer choices and reduce the emotional weight you carry. Simplifying your daily habits is another way to embrace this philosophy. Our routines can either drain us or empower us. 
the Stoics emphasized consistency and discipline, encouraging habits that support well-being rather than drain it. Start by examining your day-to-day -day actions. Are there any habits you've held on to simply because they're familiar, even if they don't serve you? By letting go of unhelpful routines and building supportive ones, you're investing in a life that feels both purposeful and fulfilling. Each small adjustment brings you closer to the calm and clarity of a stoic mindset. One of the most powerful ways to practice simplicity is by aligning your actions with your values. When your choices match your beliefs, you eliminate the internal conflict that often complicates our lives. For the Stoics, this alignment was essential. It brought a sense of purpose to every action. Reflect on your values and assess whether your daily life supports them. By making choices based on your principles, you naturally streamline your life because your decisions become clear, direct and grounded. Technology is another area where simplicity can be transformative. In today's world, we're surrounded by digital noise that demands constant attention. Stoic principles can guide us in setting boundaries with our devices, allowing us to reclaim time and focus. Try limiting notifications, choosing specific times to check your devices, and dedicating tech-free time each day. This mindful approach to technology creates space for real-life interactions and self-reflection, both of which are essential to a balanced, fulfilling life. Simplicity also extends to the way you set goals. In a world that often pushes us to aim for more, Stoicism suggests aiming for what's essential. Focus on goals that align with your purpose and let go of ambitions driven by external validation. Instead of filling your life with endless achievements, focus on a few meaningful goals and dedicate yourself to them fully. This approach not only reduces stress, but also increases satisfaction as you're working towards something that truly matters. In embracing simplicity, there is also freedom in detachment from material possessions. The Stoics viewed wealth and material objects as tools to be used wisely, not as sources of identity or happiness. By releasing the need for material validation, you gain a sense of self-worth that isn't dependent on external factors. This detachment doesn't mean rejecting comfort, but understanding that possessions are meant to serve you, not control you. Simplicity in life choices allows you to spend your energy wisely. Instead of overanalyzing each decision, consider adopting a stoic approach by focusing on what's most beneficial in the long run. Often we complicate our choices by seeking perfect outcomes, but Stoicism teaches that no outcome is ever guaranteed. Make decisions with clarity, accept their results, and move forward without regret or overthinking. This shift from perfectionism to acceptance makes life infinitely more manageable. Stoicism teaches us to view each day as a new opportunity to practice simplicity. Life doesn't have to be rushed or chaotic. You have the power to bring stillness to your mind, order to your surroundings, and clarity to your choices. Embrace simplicity not as a one-time change, but as a daily practice, a journey of letting go, refining, and aligning. By living this way, you're not only removing unnecessary complications, you're building a life grounded in peace, purpose, and resilience. Embracing simplicity opens the door to something even deeper, the art of letting go. When we talk about letting go of the unnecessary, it's more than just physical belongings. It's about releasing mental clutter, quieting inner noise, and loosening the grip on things that weigh you down. This isn't a quick or easy task, but the rewards, a clearer mind, a lighter heart, and a more peaceful life are well worth the effort. Each item, thought or habit that you release brings you closer to a sense of freedom that can transform how you live. The first step to letting go starts with awareness. 
Many of us hold on to things without fully realizing why. We keep old belongings, outdated beliefs, and unnecessary commitments out of habit, not intention. Take a moment to question what truly serves you and what doesn't. This honest reflection is like taking an inventory of your life, sorting through the tangible and intangible with curiosity. The more you explore, the clearer it becomes what's worth keeping and what you're ready to release. Once you've identified what's unnecessary, there's the task of actually letting go. This isn't always straightforward, especially with items or ideas we're emotionally attached to. Memories, sentimental items, or comforting routines can be hard to part with. But remember, letting go doesn't mean forgetting. It means choosing not to let those things control or define you. Each time you release something, you're saying, this no longer holds power over my peace. Physical decluttering can be a powerful starting point. Our surroundings often reflect our inner world, and by clearing out physical spaces, you create room for clarity in your mind. Start small, with one drawer, one shelf, or one closet. As you make decisions about each item, ask yourself if it adds value to your life. If it doesn't, thank it for its role in your past and let it go. This practice not only frees up space, but also brings a sense of accomplishment and a lighter, more inviting environment. Letting go also means releasing the need for perfection. Many of us hold on to unrealistic expectations, striving for ideals that only lead to frustration. The Stoics teach that we cannot control external outcomes, only our actions and responses. Embracing this idea allows you to release the pressure to be perfect, freeing you to focus on what genuinely matters. When you let go of perfection, you make room for progress growth, and inner peace. Mental decluttering is equally important. Our minds are filled with thoughts that drain us, worries, regrets, or fears that often go unexamined. These thoughts take up space and energy, preventing us from fully engaging in the present. The Stoics suggest questioning each thought, asking if it serves a purpose or if it's merely noise. Letting go of unhelpful thoughts isn't about suppressing them. It's about observing, understanding, and then choosing not to dwell on them. Habits play a significant role in how cluttered or clear our lives feel. Some habits serve us well, while others keep us stuck in cycles of stress or distraction. Take an honest look at your routines, identifying which habits bring peace and which add to mental clutter. By letting go of habits that no longer align with your goals, you create space for routines that uplift you and foster well-being. Relationships, too, can be a source of unnecessary weight. This doesn't mean ending relationships, but evaluating which ones bring mutual support and understanding. We often cling to relationships out of obligation, guilt or comfort, even when they drain us. Consider focusing on connections that encourage growth and letting go of those that add stress or negativity. This doesn't have to be dramatic. It can be as simple as setting boundaries and valuing quality over quantity. Past mistakes can also take up unnecessary space in our minds. Many of us replay memories, wondering what could have been different. While it's natural to reflect, holding on to regret only creates a heavier heart. The Stoics taught that the past is beyond our control and that our power lies in how we act now. By releasing regrets, you free yourself from the weight of what if and step into the power of what now. Letting go of societal expectations can be deeply liberating. Society often dictates what success or happiness should look like, but these ideals don't always align with personal fulfillment. Take time to examine whether you're pursuing goals that resonate with you or simply following what you think you should do. By releasing the pressure to conform, you open the door to a life that feels authentically yours. Our identity can also hold unnecessary weight. Many of us define ourselves by labels or achievements, clinging to an image of who we think we should be. 
but Stoicism reminds us that identity is not fixed. It's fluid, adaptable, and ever-changing. Letting go of rigid self-definitions allows you to grow, evolve, and embrace who you are without limitations. The desire for control is another form of clutter. We often try to control people, situations, or outcomes only to end up feeling frustrated. The Stoics understood that control is an illusion when it comes to the external world. By focusing on what you can genuinely influence, your actions, responses, and mindset, you free yourself from the burden of control and find peace in acceptance. Letting go also means releasing resentment. Holding on to anger or grudges against others takes a toll on your peace. Stoicism teaches that we cannot control others, only how we respond to them. By choosing to forgive and let go of bitterness, you reclaim energy that can be better spent on your growth and happiness. Forgiveness doesn't mean condoning harm, it means choosing peace over resentment. Freeing yourself from the need for constant validation is another step toward a decluttered life. In a world driven by likes, shares, and social approval, it's easy to fall into the trap of seeking external validation. But this need only complicates your inner world. By letting go of the desire for approval, you shift your focus inward, valuing yourself for who you are rather than how others perceive you. Financial clutter is another area that often goes unnoticed. Our relationship with money can become a source of unnecessary stress when we constantly chase more or worry about lack. The Stoics valued self-sufficiency, finding contentment in simplicity. Consider evaluating your financial habits and letting go of unnecessary spending or comparison with others. Financial freedom isn't about wealth, but about feeling secure and at peace with what you have. The practice of detaching from outcomes is key to a simpler life. When we attach our happiness to specific results, we set ourselves up for disappointment. The Stoics believed in focusing on effort rather than outcomes, trusting that whatever unfolds is meant to be. By letting go of attachment to specific outcomes, you free yourself from constant worry and find satisfaction in the process itself. Fears, too, can clutter our minds. Fear of failure, rejection, or change often keeps us from moving forward. Stoicism encourages us to confront these fears, understanding that they are a natural part of life. By facing fears with courage, you strip them of their power, allowing you to take risks and embrace growth without the weight of what if. Releasing the need to multitask can also bring profound peace. Our culture often glorifies doing many things at once, but this habit can lead to mental clutter and reduced focus. Stoicism values presence, giving full attention to one task at a time. By practicing single tasking, you not only increase productivity, but also bring more enjoyment to each moment. Even our goals can benefit from decluttering. Setting too many goals can spread your energy thin, leaving you feeling overwhelmed. Instead, consider focusing on a few meaningful objectives that align with your values. By letting go of excessive goals, you direct your efforts toward what truly matters, achieving more with a sense of purpose rather than pressure. Letting go of rigid routines can bring flexibility and ease into your life. While routines are valuable, being overly attached to them can lead to frustration when plans change. The Stoics teach adaptability, finding balance between discipline and flexibility. Allow space for spontaneity and trust that life's flow will guide you toward what's best. Accepting life's imperfections is another way to release mental clutter. Many of us strive for flawlessness, but perfection is an illusion. Stoicism teaches us to embrace life as it is, with all its uncertainties and imperfections. By letting go of the pursuit of perfection, you open yourself to a life that's richer, more authentic, and filled with peace. 
Letting go of the unnecessary is about freedom. Each choice to release, whether it's a possession, thought, or expectation, brings you closer to inner peace. The process may be gradual, but with every small step, you'll feel a shift. Clarity, calm, and contentment will take the place of what once felt heavy. As you let go, you'll find yourself living a life that's not only simpler, but also more deeply fulfilling. Embracing simplicity and letting go creates a natural foundation for another stoic insight, the power of less is more. This principle isn't just about reducing physical clutter or simplifying routines. It's about finding a deep and lasting quiet in your mind. Life's demands often overwhelm us, filling our minds with endless to-do lists, worries, and distractions. By understanding the value of less, you're not only cutting away the excess, you're also creating mental space to focus on what truly matters. When you embrace less is more, you gain the freedom to prioritize quality over quantity in every area of life. Rather than scattering your attention across countless thoughts, tasks, or ambitions, you can bring focused clarity to what's essential. A less crowded mind means a lighter, calmer way of being, where each thought has room to breathe. This shift doesn't come from avoiding responsibilities or tuning out the world, but from consciously choosing what deserves your focus and letting go of what doesn't. It's a practice of mindful selection that leads to lasting peace. Start by examining the thoughts that fill your mind daily. We're often unaware of how much mental space is taken up by unnecessary worries or irrelevant information. Take note of recurring thoughts that don't serve a real purpose. Are they fears, criticisms, or reminders of past events? Each of these can add to mental noise. By acknowledging them without engaging, you can begin the process of release. This practice clears out mental clutter making space for thoughts that uplift, inspire, or guide you. In relationships, embracing less is more can mean focusing on fewer but deeper connections. It's easy to feel pressure to maintain a wide network, yet true satisfaction often comes from a handful of meaningful connections that nurture mutual growth and understanding. Rather than stretching yourself thin across many social obligations, pour your energy into those who truly matter. This choice not only enriches these relationships, but also frees up mental space from superficial social obligations. Our daily routines can also benefit from this principle. The Stoics believed that quality habits shape the mind, so instead of filling your day with endless tasks, focus on a few meaningful activities that align with your goals. Rather than adding more to your day, look for areas where you can cut back. A shorter, purposeful routine reduces the mental load and brings intention to each action, helping you cultivate a day that's as productive as it is peaceful. Even in learning and self-development, less is more applies. Today, we're flooded with information, often feeling pressured to know everything. But knowledge is not about quantity. It's about depth. Rather than skimming through countless sources, focus on understanding a few topics deeply. This focus helps prevent mental fatigue and allows for a deeper, more meaningful grasp of the subjects that resonate with you. Knowledge becomes more than information. It becomes wisdom. The digital world is another area where less can truly be more. Constant notifications, endless scrolling, and digital overload clutter the mind and diminish focus. Reducing digital engagement brings immediate clarity. Setting specific times to check emails or social media limits distraction and creates a mental space for real-life interactions. Each step toward less screen time is a step toward more present, fulfilling moments. Another powerful way to reduce mental noise is by simplifying your goals. Rather than chasing numerous objectives, prioritize a few that genuinely resonate. Each time you commit to fewer goals, 
you're choosing depth over surface level achievements. This approach prevents burnout and enhances your sense of purpose as every effort is directed towards something truly meaningful. Our expectations can often add unnecessary pressure. By embracing realistic expectations, you relieve yourself from the burden of constant self-criticism. The Stoics valued contentment with one's efforts rather than perfection. Adopting this perspective allows you to focus on your actions without the noise of unattainable ideals. This shift fosters self-acceptance and creates a mental environment that's less chaotic and more encouraging. A clear mind also benefits from fewer decisions. Decision fatigue is real, and the more choices you have, the more mentally draining your day becomes. Simplify choices where possible, from daily routines to major life decisions. Streamlining decisions isn't about limiting freedom, but enhancing it, freeing your mind from unnecessary deliberation and allowing focus on what truly matters. Commitments can be another source of mental clutter. We often say yes too quickly, filling our schedules with obligations that don't align with our values. Embracing less is more in commitments means carefully choosing where to invest your time. By committing only to things that genuinely serve you or others, you maintain a sense of balance and reduce the stress of overscheduling. This approach leaves mental space for personal growth and genuine rest. The pursuit of material possessions is an area where mental noise often accumulates. Owning more may seem fulfilling, but the upkeep, organization and cost create a mental burden. Choosing quality over quantity with belongings simplifies life and lessens mental strain. Instead of accumulating things, Invest in items that genuinely enhance your well-being and let go of what merely fills space. This shift fosters appreciation for what you have and reduces the urge for constant acquisition. Practicing gratitude is another way to embrace less is more. Instead of focusing on what's lacking, cultivate appreciation for what already exists. By valuing fewer things with greater depth, you quiet the mental noise of desire and find contentment in the present. Gratitude shifts your focus from scarcity to abundance, creating a sense of fulfillment that's not tied to external possessions or achievements. Mindfulness is essential to this practice. Each moment offers a choice to either engage fully or let distractions pull you away. By choosing to be present, you simplify your experience reducing mental noise. Practicing mindfulness in each task, from conversations to daily routines, enhances your connection to the present and brings clarity to your thoughts. This approach prevents your mind from scattering and builds a peaceful mental state. Reducing mental noise also involves managing inner dialogue. The way we speak to ourselves shapes our mental environment. By practicing positive, constructive self-talk, you reduce critical or anxious thoughts that clutter the mind. Choose words that encourage rather than discourage and watch as your mental landscape shifts toward calm and clarity. Inner dialogue becomes a source of support rather than stress. Embracing simplicity in entertainment is another way to practice less is more. Today, entertainment is often fast-paced and overwhelming, which can lead to mental exhaustion. Consider choosing activities that nourish, rather than deplete. Reading, spending time in nature, or engaging in creative hobbies are activities that refresh the mind. By selecting more mindful forms of entertainment, you create mental space for joy and relaxation. Sleep is crucial to reducing mental noise yet we often sacrifice rest for productivity. The Stoics valued rest as a key component of well-being, prioritize quality sleep, and establish routines that support restful nights. By valuing rest as essential, you rejuvenate your mind, making it more resilient to stress and noise. Simplifying your workspace is another step toward clarity. 
A cluttered environment can be distracting and mentally draining. Keep only what's essential on your desk and organize your space to support focus. A clean, simple workspace reduces mental strain and increases productivity, allowing you to approach tasks with a calm, clear mind. Emotional simplicity is an often overlooked aspect of less is more. Holding on to grudges or unresolved feelings fills the mind with unnecessary tension. Practice forgiveness, both for yourself and others, to release emotional clutter. Each time you forgive, you create space for compassion, empathy and peace. Emotional clarity brings a sense of lightness and allows your mind to focus on positivity. Reducing mental noise can also come from limiting self-comparison. In a world filled with social media and constant displays of others' achievements, it's easy to feel inadequate. The Stoics taught self-sufficiency, valuing one's unique path. Focus on your own growth rather than comparing it to others. Each step away from comparison strengthens your confidence and quiets the mind's doubts. Even your diet can influence mental noise. Eating nourishing foods that support energy and clarity can reduce fatigue and enhance focus. Avoiding heavy, processed foods that drain your energy contributes to a sharper mind. A balanced diet supports mental clarity, allowing you to think more clearly and feel more grounded. When it comes to conversations, consider practicing intentional silence. In our efforts to fill every pause, we often overlook the power of listening. Silence allows for reflection, reducing the rush to respond and creating space for thoughtful interaction. Each pause becomes an opportunity to connect more deeply, both with yourself and others. Physical movement can also help reduce mental noise. Exercise is not just for physical health, but for mental clarity. Engaging in regular physical activity releases tension and clears the mind, leaving you with a sense of calm focus. Whether it's a simple walk, yoga or a workout, movement provides a reset that supports a quieter mind. Letting go of fear is another vital aspect of mental clarity. Fear-based thoughts often linger, creating noise that clouds judgment. The Stoics faced fears head-on, seeing them as natural but not controlling. Each time you confront a fear, you take a step toward mental liberation, freeing yourself from its hold and embracing courage. Building patience supports the practice of less is more. In a world that values speed, cultivating patience quiets the mind and reduces stress. By accepting that things take time, you're less likely to feel pressured or overwhelmed. Patience fosters a calm, steady approach to challenges, helping you face life with resilience and poise. The journey toward less is more is ongoing, but each step you take brings you closer to a state of mental peace and clarity. By choosing to simplify, you're not only reducing mental noise, but also enriching your life with purpose, joy and deep connection. This path of less is ultimately a path of more, more tranquility, more fulfillment, and more space to focus on what truly matters. Creating mental clarity and embracing a life of less naturally leads to a more profound realization. Relationships are among the most influential forces in shaping your emotional and mental landscape. Relationships have the power to uplift, inspire, and encourage growth. But when they become toxic, they can cloud your judgment, drain your energy, and even obstruct personal progress. Freeing yourself from toxic connections isn't about cutting people out of your life without thought. It's about making intentional choices that prioritize your well-being and create space for authentic, nurturing bonds. Toxic relationships often disguise themselves as familiar comfort. When patterns of negativity, manipulation or criticism become normalized, it's easy to ignore how deeply they affect you. Begin by observing how certain relationships make you feel 
without judgment. Take note of interactions that leave you feeling anxious, insecure, or drained. These are clues that may indicate toxicity, and recognizing them is the first step toward freeing yourself. One way to assess the health of a relationship is by examining the balance of giving and receiving. Relationships should ideally be reciprocal, where both individuals contribute and support each other. In a toxic dynamic, you may find yourself giving endlessly without feeling supported in return. This imbalance can lead to resentment and burnout. By acknowledging this, you can start to redefine what a balanced relationship looks like for you, setting a standard that honors mutual respect. Boundaries are essential in all relationships, but especially in those with potential toxicity. Toxic connections often lack boundaries, leading to a sense of intrusion or manipulation. Establishing boundaries isn't about distancing yourself, but about creating a respectful space where each person's needs are valued. Boundaries serve as reminders of self-worth, signaling that your time and energy are precious. Communicate these boundaries openly and observe how others respond. This response often reveals the true nature of the relationship. Emotional manipulation is a common trait in toxic relationships, subtly eroding confidence and clarity. Manipulation can manifest as guilt-tripping, gaslighting, or emotional coercion. By identifying these tactics, you reclaim control over your emotions. Remind yourself that you are responsible for your own feelings, and you don't owe anyone emotional responses they try to force. This understanding strengthens your ability to stand firm against manipulation and fosters emotional independence. Another sign of toxicity is constant criticism. Healthy relationships involve constructive feedback that inspires growth, but toxic ones focus on criticism that diminishes self-worth. Recognize that you don't need to absorb negative opinions that don't contribute to your growth. Develop a strong sense of self, grounded in your values and strengths, so that external criticism no longer influences your self-perception. Comparisons can also signal a toxic dynamic, particularly if you're constantly being compared to others or feel pressured to compete. This erodes self-esteem and creates unnecessary tension. A genuine relationship appreciates each person for their uniqueness rather than measuring them against external standards. Let go of connections that force you into comparisons and instead seek those that celebrate your individuality. A toxic relationship often feels draining as though it consumes more energy than it gives. If you frequently feel exhausted or anxious after interactions, it may be time to re-evaluate. Energy is finite, and by conserving it for relationships that nourish you, you create a life filled with positive, sustaining connections. Acknowledge how each relationship affects your energy and prioritize those that leave you feeling uplifted. Forgiveness can play a crucial role in freeing yourself from toxicity, not as a means of excusing harm, but as a way to release resentment. Holding on to anger or bitterness weighs heavily on the heart and mind. Forgiving allows you to detach from past pain and find closure. Remember, forgiveness doesn't always mean reconciliation. Sometimes, it simply means letting go for your peace. When faced with toxic individuals, it's common to doubt your worth. Toxic people may attempt to undermine your confidence, causing self-doubt and insecurity. Cultivate self-assurance by focusing on your accomplishments, values, and strengths. By knowing your worth, you become less susceptible to external validation, building a foundation of inner confidence that's resilient to toxic influences. Sometimes toxic relationships persist because of fear, fear of loneliness, fear of confrontation, or fear of the unknown. Recognize these fears without judgment and question whether they're keeping you trapped in an unhealthy situation. Facing these fears is empowering. It shifts control back to you, 
showing that you don't have to stay in connections that harm your well-being. Clear communication is essential for breaking toxic patterns. Addressing issues directly and assertively opens a pathway to healthier interactions. Express your feelings honestly and give the other person a chance to respond. If they're unwilling to change or acknowledge the impact of their behavior, this response is itself a valuable insight. Communication can clarify whether a relationship is worth nurturing or if it's time to let go. A strong support network can help in navigating toxic relationships. Surround yourself with people who uplift, encourage and inspire. Positive connections act as a buffer, reminding you of your worth and supporting you through the process of releasing toxicity. Cherish and invest in these relationships as they provide strength and perspective during challenging times. Toxic relationships often involve a cycle of emotional highs and lows, creating confusion and instability. Healthy connections provide a steady sense of support and security. Pay attention to patterns of behavior that leave you feeling uncertain or conflicted. Recognizing these patterns allows you to break free from the cycle, choosing relationships that offer stability and peace. Learning to say no is a powerful tool for freeing yourself from toxicity. Toxic individuals may test your boundaries, demanding time, energy or resources without reciprocation. By confidently saying no, you protect your well-being and establish respect. No is not a rejection of others, but a commitment to your values and needs, creating space for relationships that honor them. Release the need for approval from toxic individuals. Toxic dynamics often involve seeking validation from someone who may never fully support or appreciate you. This pursuit can be exhausting and disheartening. Shift your focus inward, finding approval within yourself. When you no longer need others to affirm your worth, you're free to let go of connections that don't value you. Gratitude can also play a role in freeing yourself from toxic connections. By focusing on the positive aspects of your life, you naturally distance yourself from negativity. Gratitude doesn't mean ignoring challenges, but appreciating the good in your life. This shift in focus strengthens your resolve to move away from toxic dynamics and toward connections that uplift. Redefine your standards for relationships. Sometimes we tolerate toxicity because we haven't clearly defined what we deserve. Take time to identify the qualities you value in a connection. Kindness, respect, honesty, and use these as a guide. Clear standards create a framework for authentic relationships, helping you to recognize and release those that fall short. Emotional detachment can be an effective tool in toxic situations. Detachment doesn't mean indifference, but allows you to engage without being overwhelmed. Observe the relationship objectively, understanding that you can care without being controlled. Emotional distance offers perspective, making it easier to recognize toxicity and decide whether to remain invested. Self-care is essential when dealing with toxic relationships. Invest in activities that rejuvenate you, whether it's exercise, hobbies, or rest. Self-care nurtures resilience, strengthening your ability to face challenges. When you prioritize your well-being, you're less likely to tolerate situations that compromise it. Focus on personal growth as a means of liberation from toxicity. By continuously working on your goals, skills, and self-awareness, you naturally attract relationships that align with your journey. Growth-oriented individuals seek connections that add value, leaving behind those that detract. Invest in your development, and you'll find that toxic connections lose their appeal. Release the desire to change toxic individuals. It's natural to want others to grow, but each person must be willing to change for themselves. Shift your energy from changing others to supporting your journey. 
This perspective allows you to move forward without feeling burdened by someone else's resistance to growth. Empathy can play a role in understanding toxic behavior without accepting it. Recognizing that others may act from their own wounds or insecurities brings compassion, but it doesn't mean tolerating harm. You can understand someone's behavior without justifying it. Empathy offers insight, allowing you to make informed choices without being weighed down by resentment. Letting go of toxic relationships open space for authentic connections. Each step away from negativity creates room for bonds that bring joy, trust, and support. Authentic connections don't demand conformity. They celebrate individuality. By freeing yourself from toxicity, you're embracing a life filled with relationships that respect, encourage, and value who you are. This journey is about reclaiming control, choosing peace, and cultivating connections that reflect your highest self. By freeing yourself from toxicity, you're choosing a life aligned with authenticity, creating a foundation for meaningful relationships and inner fulfillment. Freeing yourself from toxic relationships opens the path to something deeply transformative, accepting the reality of impermanence. Life is in a state of constant motion, with people, situations and emotions flowing through us like a river. Nothing stays the same, and while this can feel unsettling, it also brings a profound freedom. When you learn to embrace impermanence, you free yourself from the weight of attachment, understanding that every moment, no matter how joyful or painful, is temporary. This acceptance allows you to face life with resilience, knowing that every change, big or small, is part of the journey. Acceptance of impermanence begins with acknowledging that change is the only constant. Trying to hold on to people, possessions or feelings as if they will always be there creates resistance, which only adds to life's struggles. Instead, learn to welcome each phase as it comes and release it when it's time to move forward. This fluid approach makes life lighter, removing the need to control what is beyond your reach. Letting go of this need brings clarity, helping you see each experience as a valuable lesson rather than something to possess. Observing the natural world offers insight into impermanence. Seasons change, flowers bloom and wither, rivers flow continuously. Just like nature, our lives cycle through various stages, each with its own purpose. Understanding that everything has a time and place can help ease the desire to cling to moments. By finding harmony in nature's rhythms, you allow yourself to live with more ease, aligning with the ebb and flow of life. Impermanence also brings depth to your experiences. When you recognize that each moment is fleeting, you may start to value it more deeply. Instead of rushing through your days, you find yourself savoring the present, the laughter of a loved one, the warmth of sunlight, or the quiet of early morning. All of these become precious, not because they last forever, but because they are brief. This awareness transforms ordinary moments into cherished memories. Change often brings discomfort, especially when it disrupts familiar routines. However, adapting to change builds resilience. Each time you embrace a shift, you strengthen your ability to handle future transitions. This adaptability becomes a skill, allowing you to face uncertainty with courage. By viewing change as an opportunity to grow, you can meet life's transitions with openness instead of fear. Impermanence teaches you the value of gratitude. Knowing that things will not always be the same brings a heightened appreciation for the present. When you cherish what you have, you reduce the urge to constantly seek more. Gratitude for the current moment, no matter how simple, fills your life with a sense of abundance. You realize that what you have right now is enough. Relationships too reflect the nature of impermanence. People come and go, each connection leaving its mark. Instead of clinging to relationships out of fear of loss, embrace them for the time they last. 
Every bond, whether short-lived or long-standing, serves a purpose, offering companionship, joy, or wisdom. This acceptance reduces the pain of separation, replacing it with gratitude for the shared experiences. Impermanence encourages a focus on the present, freeing you from the weight of the past and the anxiety of the future. By grounding yourself in the here and now, you fully engage with life. The past holds lessons, but it doesn't define you. The future offers possibilities, but it isn't guaranteed. Embracing this perspective allows you to move through life with a light heart, open to whatever each moment brings. Letting go of attachment is central to accepting impermanence. Attachment creates fear, fear of losing what you hold dear. By releasing the grip of attachment, you experience relationships, achievements, and possessions more freely. You no longer need things to last forever. Instead, you value them as they are. This release of attachment frees your mind, allowing you to focus on living fully rather than holding tightly to what may pass. Accepting change brings a sense of inner freedom. When you no longer resist life's natural transitions, you discover an inner calm that is unshaken by external events. This calmness doesn't mean indifference. It means recognizing that each experience has its place and purpose. With this acceptance, you are no longer trapped by circumstances, but empowered to navigate life with grace. Impermanence also helps redefine failure. Often we view setbacks as permanent, believing that a mistake or loss defines us. But when you embrace change, you realize that failure, like success, is temporary. Each setback is simply a stepping stone, guiding you toward growth. This shift in perspective transforms failure from a source of shame to an essential part of progress. Learning to appreciate the beauty of transience enriches life. Just as a sunset is breathtaking because it fades, so are life's precious moments. The Stoics believe that by acknowledging the temporary nature of things, you learn to love them more fully. Embracing this view creates a sense of wonder, helping you approach each day with a deep sense of appreciation for what is fleeting yet beautiful. Impermanence encourages you to live with intention. Knowing that time is finite makes you more deliberate with your choices. Rather than drifting through life, you focus on what truly matters. This intentional living creates a meaningful life, one filled with purpose and alignment with your values. Each decision becomes a reflection of who you are, guided by a sense of what you wish to leave behind. Acceptance of life's impermanence nurtures compassion. Understanding that everyone faces change and loss connects you to others. You become more empathetic, realizing that others too are navigating the unknown. Compassion replaces judgment, creating connections based on shared humanity. This empathy enhances your relationships, making them more supportive and understanding. The practice of non-attachment doesn't mean rejecting joy. It means experiencing joy without the fear of losing it. Non-attachment allows you to love fully, to celebrate freely, without holding on too tightly. This approach brings a lightness to your relationships and experiences, enriching them without the weight of possession. You find peace in the understanding that everything comes and goes, including joy. Impermanence also offers a perspective on loss. The pain of losing loved ones, dreams or belongings can feel overwhelming, but acceptance provides comfort. Loss is a natural part of life's cycle, and by acknowledging this, you begin to heal. You honor what has passed while opening your heart to new beginnings. This approach doesn't erase sorrow, but gives it meaning, allowing grief to coexist with gratitude. Embracing impermanence fosters resilience. Each experience of change, whether joyful or challenging, builds your strength. As you adapt to shifts, you develop an inner foundation that is unshaken by life's uncertainties. 
This resilience allows you to meet each phase with confidence, knowing that you have faced change before and emerged stronger. Creativity too thrives within the boundaries of impermanence. When you realize that time is limited, you're motivated to create, to express, and to leave something meaningful behind. This urgency isn't stressful, it's invigorating, pushing you to pursue your passions wholeheartedly. Creativity becomes a way to connect with others, to share insights, and to make the most of the fleeting time you have. Accepting impermanence brings simplicity to your life. When you're no longer focused on holding on to things, you naturally prioritize what's essential. You release the desire for excess, finding contentment in simplicity. This focus reduces mental clutter, creating space for clarity and peace. Simplicity, rooted in the awareness of impermanence, becomes a source of joy. When you accept change, you let go of rigidity. Life's flow requires flexibility, and by embracing this, you open yourself to opportunities you may have overlooked. Flexibility allows you to adapt, to explore, and to embrace new possibilities with curiosity. You're no longer confined by expectations, creating a life that's open and responsive to change. Accepting impermanence also reduces fear of the unknown. Often, our worries stem from uncertainty, from not knowing what lies ahead. By understanding that everything is transient, you learn to trust in life's unfolding. The unknown becomes less daunting, a space of potential rather than a source of anxiety. This mindset transforms fear into excitement for what may come. Ultimately, impermanence is a teacher, guiding you to appreciate the richness of every moment. By letting go of the need for things to last forever, you free yourself to experience life in its full spectrum. Each day, each connection, each achievement becomes a part of a beautiful, ever-changing journey. This acceptance is not just a mindset, it's a way of living, one that brings peace, freedom, and an unshakable sense of purpose. Accepting impermanence opens the door to an even more profound practice, daily mindfulness. Embracing the present moment with full awareness is the essence of mindfulness, and it is central to Stoic philosophy. In a world that constantly pulls us into regrets of the past or anxieties about the future, the ability to stay present brings a calm that is both refreshing and rare. Practicing daily mindfulness allows you to anchor yourself in the now, reducing stress and making life feel more vivid, purposeful and fulfilling. Mindfulness begins with attention. Throughout the day, our minds are filled with distractions, jumping from one thought to another without pause. By choosing to focus your attention on the present, you begin to quiet the noise. Whether it's the taste of your morning coffee, the warmth of the sun, or the sound of a loved one's voice, paying attention to these small moments grounds you, reminding you of the richness of life as it unfolds. One way to cultivate mindfulness is through breathing. Breathing is a constant in life, yet it's often taken for granted. By directing attention to each breath, you connect to the rhythm of your body. Deep, mindful breathing calms the nervous system, releasing tension and clearing the mind. This simple act of focus allows you to find peace in any situation, anchoring you when emotions or stress arise. Observing your thoughts without judgment is another key aspect of mindfulness. Stoic philosophy teaches us to separate our thoughts from reality, recognizing that they are not always facts. By watching your thoughts as they come and go, you gain distance from worries or fears, seeing them as passing clouds rather than permanent truths. This detachment brings clarity, allowing you to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. Mindful listening is also an essential practice. In conversations, our minds often race ahead, planning responses instead of truly listening. By focusing fully on the speaker, you improve understanding and connection. 
Listening mindfully shows respect and strengthens relationships as others feel valued and heard. This presence creates depth in interactions, enriching your connections with others. Another approach to mindfulness is practicing gratitude. Gratitude brings attention to the blessings in your life, reducing stress by shifting focus from what's lacking to what's present. Each day, take a moment to reflect on things you're thankful for, no matter how small. This practice cultivates a mindset of abundance, allowing you to feel contentment and joy in the present rather than chasing it in the future. Mindful movement can also deepen your connection to the present. Physical activities, whether walking, stretching or exercising, are opportunities to tune into the sensations of your body. Feel the ground beneath your feet, the stretch of your muscles, the beat of your heart. By fully engaging in these sensations, you cultivate a sense of presence that extends beyond the activity, bringing calm and focus into the rest of your day. Practicing single-tasking is another valuable mindfulness tool. Multitasking divides your attention, creating mental clutter and increasing stress. By focusing on one task at a time, you improve both quality and efficiency. Each task, no matter how small, becomes an act of presence. When you give it your full attention, you complete it with more satisfaction, feeling less overwhelmed and more at peace. Letting go of judgment is essential in mindfulness. Our minds often judge ourselves, others or situations without even realizing it. These judgments add unnecessary stress as they create negative or unrealistic expectations. By observing without labeling things as good or bad, you free yourself from these mental constraints. This openness allows you to experience life more fully, accepting each moment for what it is. Accepting emotions without suppression is a mindful practice that the Stoics value deeply. Emotions are natural responses to life, and by acknowledging them without resistance, you prevent them from festering into stress. Recognize each emotion, joy, sadness, anger, as a wave that rises and falls. This awareness allows you to process feelings healthily, letting them flow through you without lingering. Mindfulness can also be practiced through mindful eating. Often, meals are rushed or distracted, losing the joy of taste and nourishment. By savoring each bite, you connect with the experience of eating, feeling gratitude for the food's journey to your table. This simple practice not only improves digestion, but also enhances appreciation for daily sustenance, reducing stress by bringing calm to a basic daily ritual. Engaging fully with nature is another way to practice mindfulness. Nature has a grounding effect, reminding you of life's simple beauty. Whether it's a park, a garden, or a scenic view, take time to observe the colors, sounds, and textures around you. Nature's cycles mirror the stoic view of impermanence, teaching acceptance and encouraging presence in each unfolding moment. Mindfulness also means paying attention to physical sensations, such as tension or relaxation in your body. The body often holds stress, even when the mind is unaware of it. By scanning your body for areas of tightness, you become aware of stored emotions or anxieties. Gently releasing tension through stretches or deep breaths helps you reconnect with your body, relieving stress and restoring calm. Creating mindful pauses throughout the day helps maintain presence. Often, we move from one task to another without pause, creating a constant state of mental activity. Set aside small moments to breathe, observe, or simply be. These pauses act as resets, allowing you to clear your mind before continuing. Each pause is a reminder that presence isn't about rushing, it's about engaging fully with each task and interaction. Practicing acceptance is a core component of stoic mindfulness. When you encounter challenges, accept them as part of life's ebb and flow. Resistance to what is can create stress, 
as we struggle against reality. Acceptance doesn't mean giving up. It means choosing to respond calmly and thoughtfully. By embracing what you can't change, you reduce frustration and find peace in your response. Mindfulness also involves limiting mental clutter from external sources. We are surrounded by information, much of it negative or distracting. Being selective about what you consume, whether news or social media, helps reduce mental noise. Curate what you allow into your mind, choosing sources that uplift or inform rather than overwhelm. This practice preserves mental clarity and reduces stress. Practicing patience is another way to bring mindfulness into daily life. Impatience often stems from wanting situations to happen faster than they naturally do. By practicing patience, you align yourself with the present pace, reducing stress and frustration. Each moment becomes an opportunity to learn, adapt, and accept the timing of life without rushing. Using mindfulness to manage time helps create a balanced life. Often, we rush through activities or fill our schedules to feel productive. By approaching time with intention, focusing on tasks that truly matter, you reduce the sense of busyness. A mindful approach to time allows you to prioritize, creating space for rest and reflection without guilt. Mindfulness also applies to self-compassion. Our inner critic often creates stress by focusing on mistakes or perceived shortcomings. By practicing kindness toward yourself, you replace judgment with understanding. This shift nurtures a supportive inner voice that reduces stress, encouraging personal growth rather than constant self-criticism. Setting mindful intentions each morning helps shape your day with purpose. Rather than moving through the day reactively, choose a guiding intention, whether it's patience, kindness, or focus. This intention keeps you anchored, bringing mindfulness to each interaction and task. It becomes a steady reminder to stay present and engaged, reducing stress by providing a clear sense of direction. Mindfulness can also transform routines into rituals, Instead of rushing through daily activities, approach them with reverence. Make each routine a mindful act, from brushing your teeth to tidying up. This approach transforms the mundane into a grounding practice, creating moments of presence that bring calm and joy to everyday life. Engaging in mindful journaling can help process thoughts and emotions. By writing down your feelings without judgment, you gain clarity and release mental tension. This practice creates space in your mind, helping you understand yourself better and manage stress. Journaling brings self-awareness, allowing you to reflect on your experiences and grow. Mindfulness also includes appreciating transitions. Life is full of small transitions, from waking up to moving from one task to another. By approaching these shifts mindfully, you create continuity and calm. Acknowledge each transition with intention, bringing presence to each new beginning and ending. This practice reduces stress by creating flow in your day. Focusing on one sensory experience at a time can deepen mindfulness. Whether it's sound, touch or taste, give one sense your full attention. This practice enhances the experience, quieting the mind and reducing distractions. Focusing on a single sensation reminds you of the richness in each moment, bringing joy to simple pleasures. Building a mindful evening routine helps you release the day's stress. Reflect on the day with gratitude, letting go of worries before bed. This winding down ritual prepares your mind and body for restful sleep enhancing mental clarity and reducing stress. A peaceful evening routine allows you to close each day with calm, ready to begin anew in the morning. Mindfulness encourages resilience by teaching you to stay present during difficult times. When challenges arise, focusing on the present moment prevents you from being overwhelmed. This presence allows you to address problems step by step 
rather than being consumed by worry. Resilience grows as you learn to face each moment with calm strength. Engaging in mindful acts of kindness fosters connection and joy. Small gestures, like a smile or a kind word, bring you into the present and reduce stress by focusing on others. Acts of kindness shift your attention from personal worries, creating a sense of warmth and community that uplifts both you and those around you. In every way, mindfulness brings you closer to a life of peace and presence. It reduces stress, increases joy, and grounds you in the richness of each moment. Practicing daily mindfulness is a journey, one that offers freedom from mental clutter and a deeper connection to yourself and the world around you. This practice is not just a tool for relaxation, but a way of living, creating a life filled with meaning, awareness and calm. Mastering mindfulness naturally leads to an even deeper practice in the Stoic path, emotional detachment. Embracing emotional detachment is not about becoming indifferent or cold. Instead, it's about freeing yourself from the need to control every outcome or seek constant approval. When you learn to release the desire for control and validation, you open up space for inner peace and clarity. Emotional detachment allows you to experience life fully without the burden of expectations or the weight of others' opinions. Emotional detachment begins with self-awareness. Often, the urge to control comes from an inner need to feel secure. By observing these impulses, you gain insight into your fears and desires. This awareness helps you understand where you tend to cling too tightly, allowing you to approach situations with calmness rather than anxiety. Detachment isn't about suppressing emotions, but about understanding them without letting them dominate your actions. Letting go of control means accepting that many aspects of life are beyond your influence. This acceptance is liberating. When you realize that you can't force everything to go your way, you allow life to unfold naturally. Detachment from control reduces frustration as you no longer feel responsible for things outside your power. This clarity brings a sense of peace, freeing you from the pressure to make everything perfect. Releasing the need for validation is equally important. Many people rely on external approval to feel valued, but this can be a slippery slope. Depending on others' opinions creates an unstable sense of self-worth. Emotional detachment means valuing yourself from within rather than from outside recognition. By building inner confidence, you reduce the need for others' approval, finding strength in your own values and achievements. Detachment also involves letting go of attachment to outcomes. Often, we become overly invested in specific results, feeling disappointed when things don't go as planned. This attachment to outcomes creates stress and limits your ability to adapt. By focusing on the effort rather than the result, you experience greater freedom and resilience. Each action becomes meaningful in itself rather than being tied to a particular ending. Practicing acceptance is a cornerstone of emotional detachment. Life is filled with unexpected twists and resistance only adds to the struggle. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation. It means choosing to respond calmly to what you cannot change. This approach reduces mental strain, allowing you to focus on what truly matters. Acceptance cultivates inner strength, empowering you to face challenges without feeling defeated. Detaching from others' reactions brings a sense of independence. People's opinions, moods or judgments are not within your control and relying on them for happiness leads to disappointment. By detaching from these reactions, you preserve your peace. This doesn't mean ignoring others. It means staying grounded in your own sense of self, unaffected by fluctuations in others' behavior or opinions. Emotional detachment allows you to experience relationships more authentically. When you're not seeking validation or control, you can connect with others from a place of openness and acceptance. 
This approach creates healthier, more genuine connections as you're not relying on others for your self-worth. By appreciating relationships for what they are rather than what you want them to be, you cultivate deeper, more fulfilling bonds. Mindfulness also supports emotional detachment. By staying present, you observe emotions without becoming overwhelmed by them. Emotions become passing experiences rather than permanent states. This presence allows you to experience feelings without clinging to them. Mindfulness transforms emotions from forces of control to moments of awareness, bringing calm and balance to your inner life. Setting boundaries is essential for detachment. Boundaries protect your energy and prevent emotional entanglement. Clear limits allow you to engage with others while maintaining your independence. By respecting your own boundaries, you signal to others that you value your time and peace. Boundaries are not walls. They are guidelines for healthy interaction that nurture respect and mutual understanding. Learning to let go of the past is another aspect of emotional detachment. Often we hold on to past hurts, regrets or mistakes, allowing them to shape our present. Detachment from the past frees you to live fully in the now. By accepting that the past is unchangeable, you release its hold over you, embracing each new day with a clear mind and open heart. Detaching from future worries also brings relief. The future is unknown, and trying to control or predict it leads to anxiety. By focusing on the present, you let go of these fears, allowing the future to unfold naturally. This approach doesn't mean ignoring the future, but trusting that your present actions are enough to guide you forward. Detachment from future stress allows you to approach life with calm readiness rather than apprehension. Practicing self-compassion strengthens emotional detachment. Often, we seek validation because of self-doubt. By treating yourself with kindness, you build a solid foundation of self-worth that doesn't depend on others. Self-compassion reduces the need for external approval, empowering you to validate yourself. This inner confidence allows you to engage with the world from a place of strength and independence. Detaching from material possessions can also bring peace. While possessions can bring comfort, attachment to them creates fear of loss. By valuing experiences and relationships over things, you release this fear. Material detachment doesn't mean rejecting comfort, but understanding that true happiness comes from within, not from ownership. Detaching from perfectionism is another key to emotional freedom. Striving for perfection often leads to disappointment, as no outcome can meet every expectation. Accepting imperfection allows you to appreciate efforts without becoming overly attached to results. This mindset fosters resilience, helping you approach life's tasks with enthusiasm rather than pressure. Emotional detachment helps you navigate criticism with ease. When you're detached from others' opinions, you see criticism as feedback rather than personal attack. This perspective allows you to learn from others without feeling threatened. Constructive criticism becomes a tool for growth, while unfounded criticism loses its power to affect you negatively. Learning to observe rather than react is essential for emotional detachment. Reactions are often driven by emotional impulses, which can lead to regret. By observing situations calmly, you gain clarity, making thoughtful decisions instead of impulsive ones. This approach reduces stress, as you respond to life's challenges with wisdom rather than heightened emotion. Emotional detachment also strengthens resilience against setbacks. Life is full of ups and downs, and attachment to success can create fear of failure. Detachment from results allows you to pursue goals with courage, knowing that each setback is a stepping stone. This mindset transforms challenges into opportunities for growth, freeing you from the need for constant success. 
Building patience through detachment reduces stress. Patience helps you accept life's timing rather than rushing outcomes. By trusting in the process, you release the need to force results. This patience brings a calm confidence, allowing you to navigate life with steady, peaceful assurance. Patience and detachment create harmony, helping you flow with life rather than against it. Detaching from the need to be right also brings inner peace. Often, disagreements arise from a desire to prove oneself correct. Emotional detachment allows you to listen without the need to defend. This openness fosters understanding as you're willing to see different perspectives without feeling threatened. Detachment from rightness cultivates humility, enriching interactions. Mastering emotional detachment reduces the impact of envy. Envy arises from comparing yourself to others, creating discontent. By focusing on your own path, you release the need to measure up to others. This detachment from comparison brings a sense of fulfillment as you value your unique journey without the distraction of envy. Detachment from approval allows you to live authentically. When you're not seeking others' validation, you're free to express yourself honestly. This authenticity attracts relationships that appreciate you for who you truly are. Emotional detachment empowers you to live in alignment with your values, embracing your individuality without fear. Through detachment, you discover a deeper sense of self. When you're not tied to outcomes or opinions, you connect with your true essence. This connection is unshaken by external events, bringing a sense of stability and calm. By nurturing this inner identity, you cultivate a resilient spirit, one that thrives on inner peace rather than outer recognition. Each step toward emotional detachment leads to a life of greater freedom. By letting go of control and validation, you create space for a more peaceful, balanced existence. Emotional detachment doesn't mean closing off. It means opening up to life as it is, with acceptance, resilience and grace. This practice is a path to inner liberation, bringing clarity, strength and a profound sense of peace. Emotional detachment allows you to step back from the need for control and validation, creating room to find true value in life's simpler pleasures. This path naturally leads to a realization that true richness isn't found in possessions, but in experiences. There's a deep satisfaction in valuing moments over things, in savoring memories rather than collecting objects. Shifting focus from materialism to experiences brings a lasting sense of fulfillment, helping you see life's abundance through simple joys, meaningful connections and authentic moments. Finding richness in simplicity starts with the decision to appreciate what you already have. Instead of constantly seeking new acquisitions, focus on enjoying the present. Possessions can bring temporary satisfaction, but experiences create lasting memories. Choosing simplicity means finding contentment in what surrounds you, valuing moments over materials. This perspective brings a calm joy as each day is filled with opportunities to embrace the richness of life just as it is. Choosing experiences over possessions fosters a deeper connection with others. Material things are individual, but experiences are often shared. A shared meal, a long conversation, a walk in nature. These moments bring people together, creating bonds that material items cannot. By prioritizing time with loved ones over acquiring more, you strengthen your relationships and build memories that last far longer than any object. Simplicity also teaches the value of gratitude. When you focus on experiences rather than possessions, you learn to appreciate the small details of daily life. Gratitude shifts your mindset from what's missing to what's present, filling each day with appreciation. This perspective allows you to see the abundance in simplicity, finding joy in things like a quiet evening or a shared laugh. 
Living simply helps you cultivate a sense of freedom. Material possessions can create a sense of attachment as each item requires care and attention. Experiences, on the other hand, leave no burden. They enrich without adding weight, allowing you to live lightly. By embracing experiences over things, you release the need to constantly manage and maintain, opening up space for freedom and spontaneity. Choosing simplicity encourages mindful spending. When you focus on experiences, you naturally become more intentional with money. Instead of purchasing items that offer temporary satisfaction, you invest in experiences that bring joy and meaning. This approach reduces financial stress and creates a balanced relationship with money, where spending aligns with values rather than impulses. Simplicity teaches the art of presence. Material possessions often serve as distractions, pulling you away from the present. Experiences, however, demand full engagement. When you prioritize experiences, you naturally cultivate mindfulness, as each moment becomes an opportunity to be fully present. This presence enriches life, allowing you to immerse yourself in the richness of now. By valuing experiences over things, you cultivate a sense of wonder. Material pursuits often follow patterns, but experiences bring variety and discovery. Exploring a new place, trying a different activity, or meeting someone new fills life with excitement. This openness to experiences keeps life vibrant, each day a chance to learn and grow in unexpected ways. Living simply fosters resilience. Possessions are fleeting, vulnerable to loss or damage, but experiences stay with you. By focusing on what cannot be taken away, you build a foundation of inner richness that withstands life's uncertainties. This resilience brings peace, as you know that true wealth is not tied to things, but to the memories and lessons you carry. Choosing experiences also promotes creativity. Material wealth can sometimes create a focus on consumption rather than creation. Experiences, however, inspire new ideas, perspectives and expressions. Engaging with the world encourages creativity, as each experience offers inspiration. This shift from possession to exploration nurtures a creative spirit, one that finds fulfillment in discovery. Simplicity in possessions brings clarity. A cluttered space often reflects a cluttered mind, while simplicity allows for focus. By reducing material distractions, you create an environment where ideas and insights flow freely. This clarity enhances productivity and well-being as you're no longer overwhelmed by excess, but supported by simplicity. Simplicity invites you to redefine success. Traditional views of success often emphasize accumulation, but true fulfillment lies in meaningful experiences. By valuing experiences, you step away from society's material standards, creating a definition of success that aligns with personal joy and growth. This approach allows you to live authentically, free from external expectations. Focusing on experiences brings a sense of adventure to life. Possessions are static, but experiences are dynamic, offering constant opportunities for growth. Each new experience becomes a chapter in your personal journey, enriching your understanding of the world. This sense of adventure makes life more meaningful, as each day becomes a chance to explore. Simplicity nurtures self-awareness. When you're not distracted by the pursuit of things, you have space to explore who you are and what truly matters. Experiences provide insights that possessions cannot, as each moment of presence brings you closer to yourself. This self-awareness helps you live in alignment with your values, creating a life of integrity and purpose. Valuing experiences cultivates patience. The pursuit of material possessions often fuels impatience, a desire to acquire more quickly. Experiences, however, unfold naturally, teaching you to savor each moment. 
This patience reduces stress, helping you appreciate life's pace. By embracing patience, you find peace in the journey rather than rushing toward an end. Simplicity helps you prioritize health. When you're not consumed by the desire for more, you can focus on well-being. Time spent in nature, nourishing food, restful sleep, all become experiences that enrich life. This focus on health creates a balanced lifestyle where self-care is valued over accumulation. A healthy body and mind are the ultimate sources of wealth. Choosing simplicity enhances appreciation for nature. Natural beauty is a gift that requires nothing but presence to enjoy. By valuing these moments over material pursuits, you connect with nature's richness, finding joy in sunsets, fresh air, and open spaces. Nature becomes a source of fulfillment, teaching you that the most valuable things are often the simplest. Living with fewer possessions allows for greater mobility. When you're not weighed down by material attachments, you have the freedom to move, explore, and adapt. This mobility brings a sense of adventure as you're open to new experiences without the burden of things. Each journey becomes an opportunity to grow, bringing a fresh perspective to life. Simplicity reduces comparison. Material pursuits often lead to comparison, measuring worth by possessions. When you value experiences, you're less concerned with what others have, focusing instead on your unique journey. This freedom from comparison creates confidence as you live in alignment with your values rather than external standards. Finding richness in simplicity also strengthens resilience. Material wealth can be lost, but experiences stay with you. This inner richness becomes a source of strength, allowing you to face challenges with grace. By valuing what cannot be taken away, you create a foundation of peace that endures beyond life's ups and downs. Simplicity encourages generosity. When you're not focused on accumulation, you're more willing to share. This generosity fosters connection, as giving becomes an expression of gratitude. Sharing experiences, time or wisdom brings fulfillment that material possessions cannot. Generosity enriches life, creating a sense of abundance that comes from within. By valuing experiences, you foster a growth mindset. Material pursuits can create a fixed view of success, while experiences encourage growth. Each new experience offers an opportunity to learn, adapt, and expand your perspective. This growth mindset brings resilience, as you're open to change and willing to evolve. Simplicity promotes sustainability. Possessions require resources, while experiences often leave a lighter footprint. By choosing experiences, you contribute to a healthier planet, reducing waste and conserving resources. This mindful approach to consumption creates harmony with nature, supporting a life that values preservation over excess. Living simply strengthens relationships. When you're not preoccupied with things, you have more time and energy for meaningful connections. Experiences shared with others deepen bonds, creating memories that last. By valuing people over possessions, you build a network of support, love and companionship that enriches life. Choosing experiences fosters gratitude for time. Material pursuits can distract from life's finite nature, while experiences remind you of time's value. Each moment becomes precious, encouraging you to live fully. This awareness brings depth to your days as you appreciate the richness of each experience rather than rushing through life. By embracing simplicity, you create a life of purpose. When possessions no longer define success, you're free to pursue what truly matters. Purpose brings fulfillment that things cannot, as each day is spent in alignment with your values. A life of purpose is one of inner richness, filled with meaning and intention. Simplicity also nurtures a sense of wonder. Material pursuits can dull the senses, 
while experiences awaken curiosity. Each experience brings new perspectives, encouraging you to explore with an open mind. This sense of wonder makes life more vibrant, as each day offers something fresh and exciting to discover. Ultimately, simplicity leads to peace. When you're not constantly striving for more, you find contentment in the present. This peace is the true richness of life, a sense of calm that no possession can provide. Living simply allows you to savor each moment, finding fulfillment in the here and now. Through this practice, you discover that life's true wealth lies in simplicity, presence and connection. Embracing simplicity and valuing experiences over possessions brings clarity to life's purpose, setting a foundation for resilience when faced with setbacks. Every person encounters moments of failure, but the ability to transform these moments into opportunities for growth is what defines true strength. Failure, when approached with grace, is not an end, but a powerful beginning. Each misstep holds valuable lessons, and each disappointment can serve as a guide, redirecting you to a path of greater understanding and resilience. The first step in turning failure into growth is reframing how you see it. Often, failure is labeled as something to avoid, but this view creates fear and limits your potential. Instead, see failure as feedback, a natural part of learning. When you approach failure this way, it no longer holds the power to discourage you. This shift opens you to possibilities, as each setback becomes a step toward improvement rather than a roadblock. Resilience begins with acceptance. Denying failure or feeling ashamed of it only prolongs its impact. By accepting mistakes openly, you allow yourself to move forward without the weight of regret. Acceptance means acknowledging the reality of what happened without letting it define you. This clarity clears your mind, allowing you to assess the situation calmly and plan your next steps with purpose. Embracing a growth mindset is essential. When you see abilities as things that can be developed, failure becomes an opportunity to enhance your skills. Each setback offers a chance to learn something new, a way to refine your approach. This mindset fosters perseverance, as you know that any skill or quality can be strengthened with effort and time. Growth becomes a journey, and failure is simply one chapter in a much larger story. Patience is a key factor in resilience. Growth rarely happens instantly, and the effects of failure can linger. By being patient with yourself, you give space for healing and reflection. This patience builds inner strength as you learn to trust the process without rushing it. Each setback, when given time, becomes a stepping stone, moving you closer to the person you aspire to be. Developing self-compassion helps you face failure without harsh self-criticism. Often, people are their own worst critics, which makes failure feel more painful than it needs to be. By treating yourself with kindness, you approach setbacks with understanding. Self-compassion doesn't excuse mistakes. It allows you to see them with empathy, making it easier to learn from them without judgment. Resilience is strengthened by focusing on effort over results. When you value the work you put in rather than just the outcome, failure becomes less daunting. Each effort, even if it doesn't succeed, contributes to your growth. By honoring the process, you reduce fear and build confidence, knowing that growth is happening regardless of immediate results. Turning failure into growth also requires humility. Humility allows you to admit mistakes without ego, seeing them as part of a larger picture. When you're open to learning from others, failure becomes a chance to gain new insights. This openness to feedback fosters a sense of curiosity as each lesson learned brings you closer to mastery. Humility makes failure less personal and more about the pursuit of knowledge. Resilience is further supported by a sense of purpose. When your goals are clear, failure feels less discouraging because you have a strong reason to keep going. 
purpose acts as a compass, guiding you through setbacks with determination. Each failure becomes a temporary detour rather than a dead end, as your purpose fuels persistence and inspires you to overcome challenges. Reflecting on past successes can help put failure in perspective. Often, setbacks feel overwhelming in the moment, but looking back on times when you overcame challenges reminds you of your strength. This reflection provides confidence, showing you that failure is not a permanent state. It becomes a reminder that just as you've grown before, you can grow again, no matter the difficulty. Practicing gratitude for the lessons in failure brings a sense of peace. While failure may feel painful, it often holds valuable insights that are only clear with time. By finding something to appreciate in each setback, you shift your focus from loss to learning. Gratitude transforms failure from something negative into a positive experience that enriches your journey. Failure also teaches adaptability. Plans often don't go as expected, and resilience means adjusting to change with flexibility. By viewing setbacks as part of life's natural flow, you develop an ability to adapt without feeling defeated. Adaptability allows you to shift your approach as needed, keeping your goals in sight even when the path changes. Detachment from outcomes fosters resilience. When you're overly attached to a specific result, failure feels devastating. By focusing on what you can control, your effort and attitude, you release the need for everything to go perfectly. This detachment brings freedom as you're no longer bound by expectations. It allows you to move forward with confidence, knowing that success is a journey, not a single event. Learning to ask for help is another important step. Failure can feel isolating, but seeking support provides perspective and encouragement. Whether it's advice, mentorship, or simply sharing your experience, connecting with others strengthens resilience. This support reminds you that failure is a shared experience, one that everyone faces and learns from. Turning failure into growth also means embracing curiosity. Instead of focusing on what went wrong, ask questions that deepen understanding. What could be done differently? What lessons can be taken from this? Curiosity transforms failure into a source of wisdom as each question leads to insights that guide future actions. It encourages a sense of exploration, making failure a tool for growth. Developing mental strength through resilience makes future challenges easier to face. Each time you recover from a setback, you reinforce a belief in your ability to handle difficulties. This inner strength builds confidence as you know that no failure can truly hold you back. Mental resilience creates a foundation that supports you through any challenge, big or small. Adopting a long-term perspective can help manage the sting of failure. Often, setbacks feel monumental because they're viewed in isolation. By seeing failure as one moment in a much larger journey, you reduce its impact. This perspective helps you move forward with a sense of continuity, understanding that each failure is just a step in the ongoing process of growth. Taking responsibility for mistakes is essential in turning failure into growth. Avoiding blame and accepting accountability allows you to learn effectively. Responsibility doesn't mean self-blame, it means owning your actions with integrity. This approach fosters maturity as you're willing to face challenges head on, learning and adjusting without excuses. Embracing imperfection allows you to face failure with resilience. Perfectionism often makes failure feel unbearable as it creates unrealistic expectations. By accepting that mistakes are part of the process, you approach each attempt with openness. This acceptance brings relief as you understand that growth doesn't require perfection, only persistence. Resilience is also supported by cultivating optimism. Optimism doesn't ignore the reality of failure. It focuses on the possibilities that come after. 
an optimistic mindset sees failure as a temporary setback, one that holds potential for positive outcomes. This view creates motivation as you're able to see past the difficulty toward the growth that lies ahead. Each failure is an opportunity to build discipline. Setbacks test your commitment as resilience requires consistent effort. By staying committed to your goals despite failure, you develop a discipline that strengthens over time. This discipline is a powerful asset, one that makes future challenges easier to face with confidence and determination. Focusing on what you can learn from failure keeps you moving forward. Instead of feeling discouraged, see each setback as a source of knowledge. This focus on learning reduces fear as failure becomes a tool for improvement rather than a threat. Each lesson brings growth, creating a path that's defined not by setbacks, but by progress. Failure teaches patience, an essential component of resilience. Growth takes time and setbacks are often part of the journey. By approaching each failure with patience, you allow yourself to process and learn without pressure. Patience creates a calm determination, allowing you to pursue your goals with steady resilience rather than haste. Embracing failure with grace transforms challenges into stepping stones. Each setback, approached with resilience, contributes to a journey that's defined not by mistakes, but by the strength gained in overcoming them. Through resilience and grace, you discover that failure is not the opposite of success. It's an essential part of achieving it. With each challenge, you grow stronger, wiser, and closer to becoming the person you're meant to be. Building resilience through turning failure into growth often leads to another essential skill, the art of saying no. Maintaining focus and balance in a world full of demands requires learning to protect your time, energy, and well-being. Saying no is not about shutting people out. It's about prioritizing what truly matters to you. Each time you choose to set a boundary, you're reaffirming your values, allowing yourself to live with greater clarity and purpose. Saying no starts with recognizing your limits. Often people say yes to avoid disappointing others, even if it means stretching themselves thin. This habit can lead to burnout, as constant agreement often sacrifices personal needs. By being honest about your boundaries, you safeguard your well-being, creating space for what truly enriches your life. Setting limits helps you maintain energy and avoid overcommitment. Understanding your priorities makes saying no easier. When your goals are clear, it's simpler to recognize what aligns with them and what doesn't. Each time you say no to something that doesn't serve your purpose, you're saying yes to what matters most. This alignment brings a sense of direction as you no longer feel pulled in multiple directions, but focused on your path. Practicing self-compassion can also help you say no. Many people agree to things out of guilt, feeling obligated to please others. Self-compassion reminds you that your time and energy are valuable and that it's okay to prioritize yourself. By treating yourself with kindness, you're more likely to set boundaries without guilt, allowing you to say no from a place of respect rather than resentment. Saying no fosters confidence. Each time you set a boundary, you reinforce your self-worth, showing that your time and priorities are important. This practice builds inner strength, making it easier to stand firm in your decisions. Confidence grows as you realize that saying no doesn't diminish your kindness or generosity. It simply respects your limits. Learning to say no teaches you about balance. Life requires a careful balance of giving and receiving and constantly saying yes can tip this balance toward exhaustion. By saying no when needed, you create space to give more authentically when it truly aligns with your values. This balance ensures that your contributions come from a place of joy rather than obligation. The art of saying no also supports mental clarity. Each agreement takes up mental space 
as every commitment adds to your list of responsibilities. By reducing unnecessary yeses, you clear your mind, making room for creativity and peace. Mental clarity is not only freeing, but allows you to focus on tasks with greater intention, improving your productivity and well-being. Saying no strengthens your relationships by promoting honesty. When you agree to things out of obligation, resentment can build, even if it's subtle. Saying no with kindness and honesty fosters trust, as others understand that your boundaries are genuine. This honesty deepens connections, as people know that your yes truly means something rather than a half-hearted commitment. Boundaries are a key part of self-respect, and saying no reinforces them. Each time you decline a request that doesn't serve you, you're honoring your needs. This self-respect radiates outward, teaching others how to respect you as well. Respecting yourself creates a strong foundation, one that supports healthy interactions and protects your peace. Learning to say no without justification is empowering. Often people feel the need to explain or apologize for declining, but a simple no can be enough. By releasing the need for lengthy explanations, you save energy and assert your right to make choices. This simplicity reinforces your boundaries, showing that your decisions stand on their own. Saying no also helps you avoid unnecessary stress. Agreeing to every request can lead to overwhelming responsibilities, creating pressure and anxiety. By choosing your commitments carefully, you reduce stress and create a balanced schedule. Each no protects your peace, allowing you to face each day with calm focus rather than a sense of urgency. The art of saying no is also about prioritizing quality over quantity. Agreeing to everything often results in spreading yourself thin, which can reduce the quality of your contributions. By choosing fewer commitments, you can give each one your full attention, bringing greater value to your actions. This focus on quality enhances your impact, as each effort is meaningful rather than diluted. Saying no encourages mindfulness. Each decision to decline becomes a mindful choice, a moment to reflect on whether something aligns with your goals. This mindfulness brings awareness to your actions, ensuring that you're not agreeing out of habit, but with intention. By practicing mindful decision-making, you create a life that's guided by purpose rather than obligation. Learning to decline opportunities also strengthens resilience. Saying no can feel uncomfortable, especially when faced with pressure or expectations. Each time you stand firm, you build resilience, learning to prioritize your well-being even in difficult situations. This resilience supports your mental health as you become less influenced by external demands and more in tune with your needs. Saying no opens up space for rest and renewal, Overcommitting leaves little room for downtime, which is essential for maintaining energy. By setting boundaries, you ensure that you have time to recharge, preventing burnout. Rest is not a luxury, but a necessity, and each no protects this essential part of well-being. The art of saying no also deepens self-awareness. Each decision to decline allows you to reflect on your values and priorities. This self-awareness helps you stay true to yourself, creating a life that reflects who you are rather than who others want you to be. Self-awareness enhances authenticity as each choice is rooted in personal values. Saying no encourages independence. When you constantly seek approval, saying no can feel daunting. By learning to decline without fear of judgment, you strengthen your independence. This independence allows you to make choices based on personal conviction rather than external validation, creating a life that aligns with your true self. Learning to say no teaches patience. Often we say yes because we fear missing out 
or feel pressured to act quickly. By waiting before agreeing, you practice patience, allowing yourself time to consider whether something truly aligns with your goals. Patience brings a calm confidence, as you're no longer rushed by external demands, but guided by inner clarity. Each no reinforces your sense of purpose. When you're clear on your priorities, it's easier to decline requests that don't align with them. This sense of purpose becomes a guiding force, helping you make decisions with conviction. Purpose gives direction, ensuring that each yes is a step toward your goals rather than a detour. Saying no with grace is an art that fosters kindness. Declining doesn't have to be harsh, it can be done with respect and empathy. By expressing gratitude for the opportunity while setting your boundary, you create a respectful exchange. This grace strengthens relationships, as others feel valued even when you decline, fostering mutual understanding. Saying no is also an act of courage. It takes bravery to set boundaries, especially in situations where you fear disappointing others. Each time you say no, you strengthen your courage, building confidence in your right to choose. This courage supports a life of integrity, where your actions reflect your values rather than external pressures. Learning to decline fosters gratitude for what you already have. Often, we agree to more out of a desire to achieve or gain. By saying no, you focus on appreciating your current commitments, finding fulfillment in what's already present. This gratitude reduces the need for constant accumulation, creating a sense of contentment and peace. Saying no creates a life of intentionality. Each decision to set a boundary shapes your life, aligning it with your vision. Intentionality transforms daily choices into acts of purpose, building a life that's meaningful and focused. This intentional approach brings a deep sense of satisfaction as each day reflects your chosen path rather than external demands. In every way, saying no preserves your inner balance and focus. It's a skill that fosters self-respect, strengthens resilience and nurtures well-being. Through the art of setting boundaries, you create a life filled with purpose, clarity and peace. Saying no is not about limitation, but liberation, freeing you to live fully aligned with your true self. Establishing firm boundaries and learning to say no is essential for maintaining focus, but the peace you find there can be enhanced by creating an environment that mirrors your sense of calm. A well-organized intentional space provides a sanctuary one that supports clarity of mind and emotional balance. When your surroundings are arranged to promote tranquility, every corner can contribute to a deeper sense of inner peace. Organizing your space isn't just about decluttering, it's about creating an environment that feels safe, calming and filled with purpose. A peaceful environment begins with simplicity. Clutter, both physical and mental, creates a sense of chaos, distracting you from relaxation. By choosing simplicity in your surroundings, you bring focus and calm into each room. Remove items that don't serve a clear purpose or bring joy, keeping only what adds to your sense of peace. Each item left becomes a mindful choice, contributing to an atmosphere of ease. The colors you choose can also greatly impact the mood of your space. Soft, muted tones often encourage calmness, while bright or bold colors can overstimulate the senses. Opt for hues that promote relaxation and positivity, creating a soothing backdrop to your daily life. Natural colors, like soft greens or earthy tones, connect you with nature's serenity, reinforcing a peaceful mindset. Natural light plays a crucial role in creating a harmonious space, Sunlight has a positive effect on mood, enhancing clarity and boosting well-being. Arrange your space to make the most of available light, opening curtains or using mirrors to reflect natural light throughout the room. 
This warmth fills your environment with energy, transforming it into a place of healing and positivity. A peaceful environment benefits from mindful organization. Every item should have its place, creating a sense of order and intention. This organization doesn't just reduce visual clutter, it provides a sense of control and stability. When your surroundings are in order, your mind follows, as a clear space fosters clear thinking. Organized spaces support productivity and peace, allowing you to focus without distraction. The presence of plants can bring life and calm to any environment. Plants not only purify the air, but also add a natural beauty that enhances tranquility. Choose plants that are easy to care for, creating a connection to nature without adding stress. Each green leaf becomes a reminder of growth, resilience, and the simple beauty of life, grounding you in the present. Incorporating personal touches can make your space feel uniquely yours. Items that hold sentimental value, like a favorite book or a framed photo, bring warmth and comfort. These touches reflect your personality and bring familiarity, reminding you of cherished memories or inspirations. Personal elements add depth to the space, making it a true reflection of who you are. Aromas can also contribute significantly to a peaceful environment. Natural scents, like lavender or eucalyptus, have calming properties that help you unwind. Using essential oils, candles, or incense allows you to fill your space with a scent that soothes. Scent memory is powerful, and by choosing aromas that relax, you create a space that becomes a haven for rest and reflection. Keeping technology in check supports a calmer environment. Devices can be sources of distraction, so consider creating tech-free zones or designated times for digital breaks. This boundary reduces noise and mental clutter, allowing you to fully immerse in the peacefulness of your surroundings. A balanced relationship with technology supports a clearer mind, free from constant interruptions. Creating a comfortable place to rest is essential for a peaceful environment. Whether it's a cozy chair, a well-made bed, or a soft rug, these elements add comfort to your daily routine. Physical comfort supports emotional well-being, as a restful space encourages relaxation and recharges your energy. Invest in textures that feel welcoming, creating a space that wraps you in warmth. Maintaining cleanliness is another fundamental aspect of a peaceful environment. Dust, dirt and disarray contribute to feelings of stress, as they create a sense of neglect. Regular cleaning supports a fresh, revitalizing atmosphere, where every corner feels cared for. This cleanliness reinforces respect for your space, showing that it is worth your attention and energy. Minimalism encourages peace by reducing visual and physical clutter. Less truly can be more, as a minimalist approach focuses on quality over quantity. Keep only what adds value or purpose, allowing your space to breathe. Each chosen item becomes intentional, and the empty spaces create calm, allowing your mind to feel spacious and free. Art can be a powerful element in a peaceful environment. Choose pieces that inspire tranquility, whether it's a painting, a sculpture, or a photograph. Art has the power to evoke emotions, so select pieces that align with the mood you wish to cultivate. These visual elements become reminders of beauty, creativity, and calm, adding soul to your space. Organizing your space to support natural flow is essential. Arrange furniture and items to allow easy movement, creating a sense of openness. This flow makes the space feel expansive, encouraging a feeling of freedom and relaxation. A well-arranged room reduces obstacles, allowing your mind to follow the simplicity of the space's design. Simplicity also applies to your storage spaces. Overstuffed closets and drawers add hidden clutter, creating stress even when out of sight. Organize storage to allow for easy access, using dividers or labels if helpful. 
By knowing where everything is, you reduce frustration and create a sense of calm that extends beyond what's immediately visible. Sound can affect your environment profoundly. Quiet spaces foster relaxation, but soft music or nature sounds can also enhance calmness. Choose sounds that bring you peace, whether it's classical music, ambient nature sounds, or silence. By managing noise, you create an atmosphere that promotes focus, allowing you to be fully present. The way you start and end your day in your space also contributes to a peaceful environment. Create a morning ritual that welcomes the day, such as opening a window for fresh air. In the evening, establish a calming routine that prepares you for rest. These rituals set a rhythm that grounds you, making your environment a sanctuary of stability. Limiting visual distractions encourages relaxation. Cluttered surfaces or bright, overstimulating decor can pull your attention in multiple directions. By keeping decor simple and purposeful, you create a space that draws you inward rather than scattering your focus. Each item becomes a part of a harmonious whole, supporting your peace rather than disrupting it. A peaceful environment also benefits from mindful lighting. Bright lights can energize, but softer lighting encourages relaxation. Use warm, gentle lights for the evening to create a cozy atmosphere. Adjustable lighting allows you to tailor your environment to different times of day, creating a space that feels welcoming and adaptive. Surrounding yourself with reminders of nature enhances peace. Stones, shells, wood or other natural textures bring an earthy element to your space. Nature is grounding and these materials remind you of simplicity and balance. By incorporating natural elements, you create an environment that reflects the serenity of the world outside. Mindful decorating is about choosing pieces that align with your values. Each item in your space should feel meaningful, representing qualities you wish to embody. This intention brings depth to your environment, making it a place that supports your personal growth and reflects your journey. Mindful decor becomes a daily reminder of your purpose and aspirations. Creating a peaceful environment is also about limiting sensory overload. Harsh lighting, strong colors, or overpowering scents can disrupt calm. By choosing subtle, soothing elements, you reduce stimulation, allowing your senses to relax. This harmony brings comfort making your space feel like a gentle retreat from the outside world. In every way, organizing your environment to promote peace is an act of self-care. It transforms your surroundings into a space that nurtures, calms and restores. By creating a sanctuary of calm and clarity, you support your mental and emotional well-being, making your home a true reflection of inner peace. Each choice you make in organizing your space becomes a step toward a more balanced, fulfilling life. Creating a peaceful environment provides a foundation for calm, yet there's another layer to this inner sanctuary that often needs attention, detoxing from digital overload. Our digital devices keep us constantly connected, but they can also crowd our minds, draining focus and clarity. Mindful technology use is a powerful way to reclaim mental space, enhancing presence and freeing you from constant distractions. Detoxing from digital overload is not about abandoning technology, but about redefining your relationship with it to regain a sense of peace and purpose. Mindful technology use begins with awareness. Take a moment to observe your habits noticing how often you check your phone or reach for your device without intention. This awareness is a vital first step as it reveals patterns of use that may feel automatic or impulsive. By simply recognizing these habits, you create a space to question whether each interaction with technology truly serves you or if it has become a reflex that drains attention. Establishing digital boundaries is essential in reducing mental clutter. 
Just as you set physical boundaries to create a peaceful environment, create boundaries around your digital use. Decide on designated times for checking messages or social media, rather than allowing them to interrupt your day at any moment. These boundaries protect your focus, allowing you to engage more fully with tasks and people around you. A key aspect of detoxing from digital overload is practicing intentionality. Before picking up your device, pause and ask yourself what you intend to do. This simple habit shifts technology use from distraction to purpose. Each interaction becomes a conscious choice, helping you avoid the trap of endless scrolling or mindless browsing. Intentional use transforms technology into a tool that enhances rather than detracts from your life. Reducing notifications can also be transformative. Constant alerts demand attention, pulling you away from the present. By turning off unnecessary notifications, you free yourself from the pressure to respond instantly. This choice creates uninterrupted periods of focus, allowing your mind to immerse itself in the task at hand. Fewer notifications mean fewer distractions, and this clarity brings a sense of calm. Creating tech-free zones in your home supports mindful technology use. Designate spaces, like your bedroom or dining area, where devices are set aside. These areas become sanctuaries of focus and relaxation, untouched by the pull of screens. Tech-free zones reinforce boundaries, creating spaces dedicated to rest, conversation and presence, enhancing your overall well-being. Limiting screen time, especially before bed, promotes better sleep and mental clarity. The blue light emitted by screens interferes with sleep cycles, making it harder to unwind. By setting a cut-off time for screen use, you allow your mind and body to relax, preparing for restful sleep. This break from screens before bed brings calm, making your evenings more peaceful and refreshing. Practicing single-tasking instead of multitasking with devices can also reduce digital overload. When you check messages during meetings or browse while eating, your attention splits, creating mental clutter. By focusing on one task at a time, you enhance engagement and reduce stress. Single-tasking encourages mindful presence, helping you experience each moment fully. Taking regular digital breaks throughout the day restores mental clarity. Spend a few minutes every hour stepping away from screens, allowing your eyes and mind to rest. These short breaks help prevent fatigue, refreshing your focus and energy. By integrating breaks into your routine, you protect your well-being, finding balance in a world filled with screens. The practice of mindful browsing fosters intentional use of the internet. Instead of wandering aimlessly online, set a purpose each time you go online. Whether it's reading an article, researching, or connecting with friends, define your reason for being there. This focus keeps you from getting lost in endless content, allowing you to leave with a sense of completion. Creating a digital detox routine, even for a single day each week, brings significant mental clarity. Designate time, like a Saturday morning or a full Sunday, to go device-free. These breaks reset your relationship with technology, reminding you that life exists outside the digital world. A day without screens reconnects you with nature, creativity and people, refreshing your perspective. Engaging in hobbies or activities that don't involve screens brings balance to your life. When so much of modern life revolves around devices, non-digital activities provide a needed escape. Explore creative pursuits, physical activities or quiet pastimes that immerse you without digital distractions. These moments of offline engagement are deeply restorative, bringing joy and calm. Fostering real-world connections instead of relying solely on digital communication enhances mental clarity. Face-to-face -face interactions offer a level of engagement and empathy 
that texts or emails cannot. By prioritizing in-person connections, you create deeper bonds and more meaningful exchanges, fulfilling the human need for connection without digital noise. Organizing your digital space, such as decluttering your desktop or organizing files, brings a sense of order. Just like physical clutter, digital clutter can overwhelm. Regularly clean up your digital environment, removing unnecessary files and arranging items for easy access. This organization reduces stress, making your digital interactions smoother and more focused. Limiting social media use can significantly reduce digital overload. Social platforms are designed to capture attention, often leading to endless scrolling. By setting time limits or choosing specific times for social media, you reduce this pull. This boundary frees your mind from constant comparison and distraction, fostering a healthier self-image and mental space. Choosing quality over quantity in digital interactions enhances well-being. Rather than trying to stay connected with everyone online, focus on meaningful connections. Prioritize relationships that bring joy and support, letting go of those that drain or overwhelm. This focus on quality over quantity brings peace as you invest time in relationships that truly matter. Practicing gratitude for offline moments encourages balance. When you step away from screens, appreciate the richness of non-digital experiences. Gratitude for offline activities like reading a book, walking in nature or cooking shifts your perspective, helping you find fulfillment beyond the digital realm. This gratitude builds contentment, making each offline moment feel valuable. Setting boundaries around work-related digital use promotes mental clarity. If work emails or messages are constantly accessible, it becomes hard to disconnect. Create boundaries that allow you to fully rest during non-working hours, whether by setting specific work times or avoiding work apps after hours. This boundary restores balance, preventing burnout. Mindful technology use includes monitoring your emotional responses. Notice how certain apps or interactions make you feel, whether they uplift or drain. By tuning into these reactions, you gain insight into which digital experiences support your well-being. Choose platforms and content that inspire positivity, avoiding those that create stress or negativity. Reducing multitasking with devices fosters deeper focus. Constant switching between tasks or apps can leave you feeling scattered. By dedicating specific times for each activity, like work, socializing, or learning, you create a structured approach. This focus enhances productivity and brings a sense of calm as each task receives your full attention. Prioritizing physical over digital reminders helps reduce screen dependence. Instead of relying on digital lists, try using a notebook for daily tasks or reminders. Physical reminders create a tangible connection, reducing the urge to constantly check your device. This shift allows you to stay organized without digital distraction, maintaining clarity. Creating a peaceful screen environment, such as simplifying your home screen, supports calm. Remove apps you don't use regularly, keeping only those that serve essential purposes. A minimal home screen reduces digital noise, making each interaction purposeful rather than a temptation for distraction. This simplicity reinforces mindful use. Mindful engagement with digital content, like choosing educational or inspiring media, enhances clarity. Content that uplifts and educates brings a sense of fulfillment, while mindless browsing often leaves you drained. By curating your digital intake, you shape an online experience that supports personal growth rather than distraction. Reflecting on your technology goals promotes mindful use. Consider how you want technology to serve you, whether for connection, learning or entertainment. 
Set intentions that align with these goals, allowing you to engage with technology in a way that adds value. This intentional approach transforms your relationship with digital devices, making each interaction meaningful. Detoxing from digital overload is ultimately about reclaiming your mental space. By managing technology use with purpose and boundaries, you create a life that prioritizes presence and clarity. Through mindful choices, you discover a balance that allows technology to enrich your life without overwhelming it. A digital detox brings you back to yourself, restoring the peace that lies beneath the screen. Reducing digital overload brings a sense of clarity and peace, making it easier to recognize what truly supports a fulfilling life. In this clarity, we start to see that many of the things we hold on to may no longer serve us. Each year, life brings new experiences and lessons, but to fully embrace growth, we need to make space for it. Quietly removing things that drain or distract can transform how we live, allowing us to focus on what truly matters. There is strength in letting go. This is a stoic principle that teaches resilience, freedom and inner peace. Releasing constant self-doubt is a powerful first step. Self-doubt, when allowed to linger, can overshadow confidence and hold you back from pursuing what's meaningful. Letting go of this doubt doesn't mean ignoring areas for improvement, but trusting that you have the ability to learn and grow. Removing self-doubt clears the path for self-belief, letting you approach each goal with quiet confidence. Letting go of resentment opens space for peace. Holding on to past grievances only keeps you tied to old wounds, making it difficult to move forward. By releasing resentment, you free yourself from the weight of others' actions. This release is not about condoning wrongs, but choosing your own peace over the need to hold on to anger. It allows you to focus on building a future unburdened by the past. Parting ways with unhealthy habits restores balance. Some routines provide comfort but not growth, and these can slowly drain energy. By identifying and replacing these habits with healthier alternatives, you regain control of your time and well-being. Removing unproductive patterns brings renewal, helping you create a lifestyle that aligns with your values. Letting go of comparison liberates you from external pressure. Constantly measuring yourself against others can create feelings of inadequacy, keeping you from appreciating your own unique path. By removing the habit of comparison, you allow self-acceptance to take its place, focusing on personal growth rather than competing with others. This shift brings contentment as you recognize the value in your journey. Releasing toxic relationships is a profound act of self-respect. Not everyone who enters your life brings positivity or support. By quietly stepping away from those who drain or manipulate, you protect your energy and peace. This choice isn't about resentment, but about creating boundaries that prioritize your well-being. Surrounding yourself with uplifting people enhances your life, making space for genuine connections. Letting go of the need for constant validation brings freedom. Relying on others' approval can create a cycle of dependence that overshadows your own worth. By finding validation within yourself, you strengthen your inner foundation, reducing the power that others' opinions have over you. This inner confidence allows you to make choices based on personal values rather than external judgment. Shedding the habit of overthinking creates mental clarity. Overthinking can lead to indecision, anxiety and exhaustion, trapping you in endless loops of thought. By choosing to trust your instincts and focus on actionable steps, you reduce the mental clutter that comes with overanalysis. This shift frees your mind, allowing you to engage fully with the present rather than being lost in hypothetical scenarios. Releasing the fear of failure allows you to embrace growth. Fear of failure often keeps people from taking risks, limiting their potential. 
by seeing failure as a learning tool rather than a setback, you open yourself to new experiences. Removing this fear empowers you to pursue goals with resilience, knowing that each attempt brings growth regardless of the outcome. Letting go of excessive materialism fosters simplicity. Accumulating possessions can lead to attachment, stress and distraction from what truly matters. By valuing experiences and relationships over things, you create a life focused on meaning rather than material wealth. This simplicity brings joy as you find fulfillment in presence rather than possessions. Removing procrastination strengthens discipline. Putting things off creates stress and leaves important goals unattended. By letting go of the habit of delay, you build a proactive mindset, one that tackles tasks with purpose. This change increases productivity and brings satisfaction as each day feels intentional and aligned with your aspirations. Releasing the need to be right cultivates humility. Holding tightly to the desire to always be correct can lead to conflict and close-mindedness. By letting go of this need, you open yourself to other perspectives, creating a willingness to learn and grow. This humility fosters better relationships as you listen with openness rather than defensiveness. Letting go of perfectionism reduces stress and fosters resilience. The need for perfection often leads to burnout, as no outcome can meet impossible standards. By allowing yourself to embrace imperfection, you find progress over perfection. This mindset shift encourages growth, allowing you to learn and adapt without the weight of unrealistic expectations. Releasing regret helps you live fully in the present. Regret ties you to past choices, clouding your view of what's possible now. By letting go of these regrets, you open yourself to new opportunities and self-compassion. This release allows you to approach each day with a fresh perspective, no longer bound by past mistakes. Letting go of people-pleasing fosters authenticity. Trying to please everyone often leads to self-neglect as you sacrifice your needs for others' approval. By choosing authenticity over people-pleasing, you allow yourself to live in alignment with your values. This shift creates stronger connections with those who appreciate you for who you are, rather than who they want you to be. Releasing grudges brings inner peace. Holding on to grudges consumes mental energy and keeps you tethered to past grievances. By letting go of these resentments, you free yourself to move forward with clarity and compassion. This choice is not about forgetting, but about prioritizing your well-being over the need for revenge. Removing self-criticism fosters kindness toward yourself. Harsh self-judgment limits self-growth, creating a sense of inadequacy. By embracing self-compassion, you create an environment where growth is encouraged, not stifled. This shift allows you to pursue goals with kindness, viewing each step as progress rather than a measure of worth. Letting go of unrealistic expectations reduces disappointment. Often, high expectations set you up for frustration when reality doesn't align. By embracing flexibility and accepting what is, you find peace in adapting. This acceptance fosters resilience as you no longer feel bound by rigid outcomes but open to possibilities. Removing negativity from your life cultivates positivity. Negative influences, whether people, habits or environments, drain energy and impact your mindset. By distancing yourself from these sources, you create space for optimism, resilience and growth. This shift encourages a positive outlook, one that sees challenges as opportunities rather than obstacles. Releasing impulsiveness brings mindful decision-making. Acting without thought can lead to regret or unintended consequences. By taking time to consider your choices, you bring intention to each decision. This mindfulness creates a life of purpose, 
where each step reflects your values and long-term goals rather than fleeting impulses. Letting go of envy promotes self-acceptance. Envy shifts focus from your own path to others, creating feelings of inadequacy. By embracing gratitude for what you have and where you are, you reduce this comparison. This perspective fosters contentment as you recognize that your journey is unique and valuable. Removing self-limiting beliefs unlocks potential. Doubts or assumptions about your abilities can create barriers that limit growth. By challenging these beliefs, you open yourself to new opportunities, discovering strengths you may not have realized. This shift empowers you to pursue goals without restriction, trusting in your capacity to adapt and succeed. Releasing the pursuit of constant busyness brings balance. Staying constantly busy may feel productive, but it often leads to burnout and distraction from meaningful goals. By valuing rest and reflection, you create a balanced rhythm that nurtures well-being. This choice allows you to focus on what truly matters, rather than staying occupied for the sake of it. Letting go of drama fosters stability. Getting involved in unnecessary conflicts or gossip creates tension and disrupts peace. By choosing a calmer approach, you reduce emotional turmoil and maintain focus on constructive goals. This shift supports resilience, as you're no longer swayed by external chaos, but grounded in your values. Removing fear of judgment allows authenticity to flourish. Worrying about others' opinions often keeps you from expressing your true self. By letting go of this fear, you gain freedom to live boldly, trusting your choices. This authenticity creates stronger relationships as people connect with the real you rather than a curated image. Releasing the habit of dwelling on the past fosters forward momentum. Continuously revisiting past mistakes or losses keeps you trapped in what can't be changed. By letting go, you open yourself to new experiences, allowing growth to replace stagnation. This choice brings resilience as you focus on possibilities rather than past limitations. Each choice to remove what no longer serves you strengthens your path toward a simpler, more peaceful life. By letting go with intention, you clear space for what truly aligns with your purpose and values. These quiet removals are acts of self-respect, freeing you to live with focus, clarity, and a deep sense of fulfillment. Letting go of unnecessary burdens creates space for transformation, and there's a path ahead that promises to make a profound difference in how you live each day. By dedicating just 30 days to these stoic challenges, you can reshape your habits, sharpen your mindset, and elevate your life in ways that leave a lasting impact. Each challenge pushes you closer to your potential, guiding you to live with intention, strength, and clarity. These steps, rooted in stoic wisdom, bring practical tools to create a version of yourself that reflects resilience, wisdom, and calm. The first challenge is to start each morning with a brief moment of reflection. Before the rush of the day begins, take a few moments to set an intention, guiding your thoughts and actions. This morning practice grounds you, reminding you of what truly matters and allowing you to approach each task with purpose. Reflection cultivates mindfulness, enabling you to act from a place of calm awareness rather than reactive impulse. Practicing gratitude daily transforms your perspective. At the start or end of each day, note three things you're thankful for. This simple act shifts focus from what's lacking to what's present, nurturing a mindset of abundance. Gratitude fosters resilience, reminding you of the richness around you, regardless of life's challenges. Over time, it rewires your mind to recognize blessings in even the smallest moments. The challenge of silence strengthens mental clarity. Dedicate a short period each day to silence, free from distractions or conversations. Silence allows thoughts to settle, 
creating space for self-awareness and calm. In these quiet moments, your mind becomes clear, unburdened by noise. Practicing silence nurtures inner peace, providing a sanctuary from the constant stimuli of modern life. Another powerful practice is controlling reactions. For 30 days, commit to observing how you respond to difficult situations. Instead of reacting immediately, take a breath and assess. This pause lets you choose your response with wisdom, reducing stress and creating harmony in interactions. Controlling reactions builds patience, enabling you to handle challenges with grace rather than frustration. Letting go of the need to control outcomes is a liberating challenge. Stoicism teaches that much of life is beyond your control, and accepting this brings freedom. Focus on what you can influence, your actions, choices and responses. This mindset reduces anxiety as you release attachment to specific results. Each day, remind yourself that your power lies in effort, not in controlling everything around you. Embracing discomfort is a stoic challenge that builds resilience. Each day, choose one small discomfort to face, whether it's a cold shower, a challenging task, or an uncomfortable conversation. Facing discomfort teaches that growth often lies outside of comfort zones. By practicing discomfort, you build mental toughness, learning that challenges can be faced without fear or avoidance. Practicing humility for 30 days is another enriching challenge. Each day, make an effort to acknowledge your strengths and weaknesses honestly. Humility allows you to accept feedback, learn from others, and grow. By embracing humility, you create space for growth without the need for constant validation. This openness fosters resilience as you learn to accept yourself fully. The challenge of living with intention encourages mindful choices. Instead of moving through the day on autopilot, dedicate each action to a purpose. Whether it's work, conversation or rest, engage with intention. This challenge builds self-awareness as each moment becomes an opportunity for presence. Living with intention creates a fulfilling rhythm where every part of the day holds meaning. Focusing on a single task is a challenge that enhances productivity and mental clarity. For 30 days, resist the urge to multitask. By dedicating yourself fully to one task at a time, you improve focus and quality of work. Single tasking reduces mental strain, allowing you to complete each activity with satisfaction. This practice encourages depth as you engage wholly with each effort. Practicing non-attachment brings emotional resilience. Each day, challenge yourself to let go of one attachment, whether it's an opinion, outcome, or material item. Non-attachment doesn't mean detachment, but reduces dependency on things outside your control. This mindset creates inner peace as you learn to value presence over possession. Non-attachment helps you approach life's changes with grace. Learning from mistakes for 30 days builds a growth mindset. Rather than viewing mistakes as failures, see them as stepping stones. Each mistake holds a lesson, a chance to improve and adapt. By embracing mistakes, you reduce fear of failure, fostering resilience. This challenge rewires your approach to setbacks, turning each into an opportunity for growth rather than defeat. The challenge of simplifying your space enhances clarity. Each day, remove one item that doesn't serve you. Whether it's a piece of clutter or a commitment, letting go clears your environment and mind. Simplicity reduces distractions, creating a peaceful space for focus and creativity. This challenge encourages mindful living, as each decision reflects a choice to prioritize peace. Engaging in kindness daily fosters empathy and connection. Each day, perform a small act of kindness, whether for someone else or yourself. Kindness reinforces compassion, 
strengthening relationships and uplifting your spirit. This challenge shifts focus from self-centered goals to collective well-being, reminding you of the power of small positive actions in creating a meaningful life. By engaging in these challenges, you begin to transform habits, shifting your mindset toward resilience, wisdom and peace. Each challenge serves as a step toward a life filled with purpose, calm and clarity, making you unrecognizable from who you were just a month before. Through consistency and dedication, these challenges bring lasting change, enabling you to live each day with depth and strength. After dedicating time to transformative stoic challenges, you'll find a stronger sense of self and resilience. This foundation not only helps you grow personally, but also clarifies the kinds of behaviors you should no longer accept from others. Stoicism teaches the value of boundaries and self-respect, and there are behaviors that compromise your peace, values, and dignity, behaviors that shouldn't be tolerated. Recognizing these allows you to protect your mental clarity and create healthier, more fulfilling relationships. One behavior that compromises peace is constant negativity. People who continually complain or see the worst in situations can drain your energy, affecting your own outlook. While offering support is kind, tolerating persistent negativity only encourages it to cloud your environment. By setting a boundary around this, you protect your sense of optimism, allowing positivity to thrive. Disrespect is another behavior that shouldn't be tolerated. Whether through words or actions, disrespect shows a lack of regard for your feelings and boundaries. Accepting disrespect allows it to continue, eroding your self-worth over time. By addressing disrespect firmly, you affirm your right to be treated with kindness and consideration, creating space for mutual respect. Manipulation is a behavior that distorts trust and transparency. Manipulative individuals often use guilt or pressure to influence others for their own benefit. Tolerating manipulation undermines your autonomy as it gradually wears down your ability to make decisions freely. Recognizing and resisting manipulation strengthens your confidence, allowing you to live by your own values. Lying, whether big or small, is a behavior that corrodes trust. Even small lies can accumulate, creating an atmosphere of doubt and mistrust. When honesty isn't valued, genuine connection becomes impossible. By holding others accountable for their words, you foster an environment of integrity. Trust flourishes in honesty, and accepting lies only allows deception to grow. Passive aggression is another behavior that creates confusion and tension. Instead of addressing issues openly, passive aggression uses subtle cues to express frustration. This indirectness often leads to miscommunication, as true feelings are hidden beneath layers of sarcasm or avoidance. By not tolerating passive aggression, you encourage direct, respectful communication, bringing clarity to interactions. People who consistently fail to respect your boundaries demonstrate disregard for your well-being. Boundaries exist to protect personal space, time and energy, and when others disregard them, it creates imbalance. Tolerating boundary violations can lead to stress and burnout as your needs are continually overlooked. Upholding boundaries with others reinforces self-respect and prevents overextension. Constant criticism, especially when unconstructive, is a behavior that can wear down self-confidence. Criticism that is relentless or harsh doesn't encourage growth, but often reflects the critic's own insecurities. By refusing to tolerate this behavior, you protect your self-worth, creating space for genuine feedback that fosters improvement rather than tearing you down. Envy-driven behavior where someone diminishes your achievements or tries to compete is another trait to avoid. Such behavior often leads to jealousy-fueled interactions that are neither supportive nor uplifting. 
Allowing this to persist can undermine your accomplishments and drain the joy from your successes. Recognizing this behavior enables you to surround yourself with people who genuinely celebrate your growth. Unreliability is a behavior that disrupts trust and stability. When others frequently cancel, break promises, or fail to follow through, it erodes reliability in the relationship. Tolerating unreliability can create frustration as it prevents plans and commitments from having a solid foundation. By expecting consistency, you foster trustworthiness in those around you, building stronger relationships. Gossiping or speaking negatively about others shows a lack of respect and integrity. Engaging in gossip reflects poorly on character as it shifts focus from positive interaction to judgment. When you choose not to tolerate gossip, you align with principles of respect and kindness, creating a space where conversations are uplifting rather than demeaning. Aggressive behavior, whether verbal or physical, is a clear violation of respect. Aggression is not only harmful, but can also create fear and discomfort, affecting mental well-being. Tolerating aggression sends a message that it's acceptable, which can lead to recurring incidents. By setting a firm boundary against aggression, you prioritize safety and respect, maintaining a peaceful environment. Manipulative guilt tripping, where someone uses guilt to control or influence your actions, is a behavior that undermines autonomy. Guilt tripping often causes unnecessary self-doubt, leading you to make choices based on guilt rather than personal values. By recognizing and rejecting guilt tripping, you protect your independence, making decisions aligned with your principles. Excessive neediness, where someone depends heavily on your time and energy without consideration for your limits, is draining. While support is valuable, allowing constant dependency can overwhelm your resources, leading to resentment. By gently setting boundaries around excessive neediness, you encourage mutual independence, preserving your energy and well-being. Ignoring your feelings or dismissing your concerns is a behavior that disrespects emotional boundaries. When others disregard your feelings, it can make you feel invalidated and unheard. Tolerating this behavior allows it to persist, often leading to self-doubt. By asserting your right to be heard, you protect your emotional health, ensuring that your feelings are acknowledged. Frequent deflection or avoiding responsibility reflects a lack of accountability. People who refuse to own up to their actions or shift blame create frustration as genuine resolution becomes impossible. By not tolerating deflection, you promote responsibility, encouraging others to approach issues with honesty and maturity. Jealousy-driven sabotage, where someone tries to undermine your success, is a toxic behavior that can hinder progress. This behavior stems from insecurity and often manifests in subtle attempts to hold you back. Recognizing this early and setting boundaries prevents its impact, allowing you to pursue goals without interference. Double standards, where someone expects leniency for their actions but judges others harshly, create unfairness. Double standards undermine equality in relationships as they imply a lack of mutual respect. By addressing double standards, you promote fairness and respect, ensuring that expectations apply equally. Overly critical behavior without empathy reflects a lack of kindness and understanding. People who frequently criticize without considering context or intention often create negativity. By refusing to accept relentless criticism, you foster an atmosphere of compassion where feedback is constructive and encouraging rather than discouraging. Dismissive attitudes, where others belittle or ignore your opinions, can stifle expression and creativity. Tolerating dismissiveness leads to a sense of invisibility as your perspectives are undervalued. Setting boundaries around this ensures that your voice is respected, 
creating an environment where ideas are shared openly. Regularly encountering any of these behaviors affects mental clarity, peace, and growth. Setting boundaries around what you will and will not accept is a powerful step in self-respect and well-being. By recognizing these behaviors and addressing them firmly yet calmly, you create relationships that are built on mutual respect, authenticity, and growth. Each behavior you refuse to tolerate strengthens your inner peace, guiding you toward relationships that uplift and support. Setting firm boundaries against unhealthy behaviors teaches self-respect and clarity, helping you build stronger relationships. Now, this sense of calm and stability provides a foundation for the stoic principle that sometimes, to gain what you desire, you must release it. In a world where holding tightly to goals and desires is encouraged, the wisdom of letting go can feel counterintuitive. Yet, this stoic approach, letting go to attract what you truly want, holds a unique power. Embracing non-attachment can lead to unexpected growth and abundance, showing that by releasing control, you allow space for your aspirations to naturally align with you. Letting go begins with understanding that attachment can lead to resistance. When you grip too tightly to a desire, you inadvertently create pressure and anxiety, which disrupts the flow of energy toward that goal. By releasing attachment, you reduce this tension, creating a sense of freedom that allows you to move forward with ease. This shift transforms the pursuit of goals into an enjoyable journey, rather than a rigid, pressured path. Non-attachment also cultivates inner peace. Obsessing over outcomes can lead to restlessness as you become fixated on a single result. When you learn to let go, you free yourself from this obsession, opening up a state of calmness and acceptance. Inner peace is a powerful magnet as it creates a stable foundation that naturally attracts positive experiences. This balance fosters clarity, helping you recognize opportunities as they come. Letting go doesn't mean giving up on your goals. Instead, it's about releasing the need to control every aspect of the outcome. By focusing on the process rather than the end, you embrace growth over results. This mindset shift nurtures resilience as each step forward becomes valuable in itself, regardless of the final outcome. Letting go empowers you to experience the journey fully, celebrating small victories along the way. A key aspect of attracting what you desire is developing trust. Trust in yourself, in the process, and in life's timing. When you cling to something out of fear or desperation, it can signal a lack of faith. By releasing this grip, you express trust in the natural unfolding of events. Trust fosters a confident outlook, allowing you to move forward without doubt or hesitation. This trust acts as a guiding force, aligning you with the right opportunities at the right time. Letting go invites spontaneity. When you're not tied to a specific outcome, you become open to unexpected possibilities. This openness creates flexibility, allowing you to adapt to life's changes without feeling disappointed or discouraged. Spontaneity enriches the journey as you remain curious and willing to explore paths that may lead to unforeseen growth. Non-attachment encourages focus on the present moment. When your thoughts are preoccupied with the future, you miss the richness of the present. Letting go redirects your attention to now, helping you fully engage with each experience. This presence deepens your connection to the journey, allowing you to approach each step with awareness and gratitude, which naturally attracts positivity. By letting go, you foster a mindset of abundance. Clinging to desires often stems from a fear of lack, a worry that you might miss out on something valuable. Releasing this fear creates a mindset that trusts in life's ability to provide. Abundance attracts abundance as you shift from a place of scarcity to one of fullness. 
this openness invites opportunities, relationships, and experiences that align with your values. Letting go cultivates gratitude for the process. When you're not attached to specific results, you learn to appreciate each moment for what it offers. Gratitude creates a cycle of positivity as each small experience feels meaningful. This attitude invites more of what you appreciate, reinforcing a pattern of attraction based on thankfulness. Gratitude also reminds you of your journey's richness, reducing the desire to reach a specific endpoint. Detaching from outcomes allows you to remain adaptable. Often, life presents unexpected detours that can enrich your path if you're open to them. By not fixating on one result, you give yourself permission to explore these detours. Adaptability is a strength that attracts growth, as each new direction offers lessons that deepen your wisdom and resilience. Non-attachment brings a sense of freedom. When you're not bound by rigid expectations, you experience life with an open heart and mind. This freedom invites joy and creativity as you're no longer limited by preconceived notions. Freedom is attractive as it allows you to move through life with ease, bringing authenticity to your pursuits. Letting go also strengthens resilience. When you release attachment, setbacks become less devastating as you're not dependent on one outcome for happiness. This resilience allows you to bounce back from challenges with a positive outlook. Resilience naturally draws growth and learning as each experience becomes a stepping stone rather than a roadblock. Practicing non-attachment aligns you with your values. When you're not focused on achieving for the sake of achieving, you have space to explore what truly matters. Aligning with your values brings fulfillment as each choice resonates with purpose. This alignment attracts opportunities that reflect your deeper self, creating a life that feels authentic and meaningful. Letting go brings a sense of lightness. The burden of constantly striving or clinging to desires can create mental and emotional weight. By releasing this, you feel lighter, more at ease with yourself and the world around you. This lightness is magnetic, drawing others to your positive energy and creating harmonious relationships based on mutual respect. Non-attachment builds patience. Often, attachment comes from impatience, a desire to force things to happen quickly. Letting go teaches you to trust in timing, allowing things to unfold naturally. Patience attracts experiences that resonate with your path as each moment of waiting becomes an opportunity to deepen understanding and growth. By embracing non-attachment, you also enhance self-reliance. Clinging to outcomes can create dependency on external factors for happiness. Letting go shifts this focus inward as you find fulfillment in your efforts rather than in external validation. Self-reliance attracts stability as you're no longer swayed by fleeting results, but anchored in your own sense of purpose. Letting go of control invites new perspectives. When you're not fixated on a single goal, you can explore various viewpoints, enriching your understanding. This openness brings wisdom, as each new perspective offers insights that broaden your awareness. Wisdom attracts meaningful connections and experiences, as you become a person who is open to growth. Non-attachment fosters humility. By releasing the need to control, you accept that not everything is within your power. This humility creates balance, allowing you to act with confidence while respecting life's uncertainties. Humility is a grounding force as it reminds you to appreciate each experience without placing your self-worth on outcomes. The act of letting go encourages resilience in relationships. Often, attachment in relationships leads to expectations that constrain connections. By releasing these expectations, you allow others to be themselves, fostering genuine bonds based on acceptance. Resilient relationships attract harmony 
as each person feels valued without pressure to meet unrealistic ideals. Practicing non-attachment allows you to discover joy in simplicity. When you're not seeking validation from grand achievements, you find satisfaction in life's simple pleasures. This shift creates a life filled with small, meaningful moments that build true contentment. Joy in simplicity attracts peace, as you recognize that fulfillment comes from within rather than from external accomplishments. Letting go helps you recognize that desires are often fleeting. By observing this, you see that clinging to temporary wants limits your growth. Recognizing impermanence fosters inner stability as you learn to appreciate moments without becoming attached. This awareness brings wisdom, helping you prioritize long-lasting values over passing desires. Non-attachment enhances creativity. When you're not bound by rigid expectations, you allow yourself to explore freely, leading to innovative ideas and new solutions. Creativity thrives in freedom, as you're open to inspiration without the pressure of specific outcomes. This creativity attracts opportunities that align with your authentic self. Ultimately, letting go and practicing the Stoic Law of Attraction is about creating space for what is meant to align with you. By releasing attachment, you invite a state of calm, wisdom and openness, allowing life's opportunities to flow naturally toward you. Through non-attachment, you discover that the true path to fulfillment lies not in control, but in trust, resilience and inner peace. Letting go and embracing the Stoic Law of Attraction teaches us that peace and fulfillment often come when we release what we cannot control. But as we continue on this path, one area that often remains cluttered is the mind. Over time, mental buildup from stress, worry and external pressures can cloud clarity and drain focus. Detoxing the mind allows you to experience life with renewed purpose and calm. Through Stoic principles, you can clear the mental fog, bringing peace and resilience to each day. Detoxing the mind begins with understanding the importance of simplicity in thoughts. Overthinking and mental clutter come from holding on to too many concerns and questions. By simplifying what you focus on, you create mental space for calm and clarity. This shift reduces mental strain, allowing you to approach each day with a refreshed perspective. Practicing acceptance is a foundational stoic tip for mental detox. Much of the stress in life stems from resisting reality, clinging to ideals of what should be rather than what is. Acceptance teaches you to release resistance, creating a peaceful state where you work with, rather than against, life's circumstances. This approach clears mental tension as you're no longer entangled in battles that cannot be won. Mindfulness, the art of being present, is a powerful way to clear mental clutter. Often, the mind races through worries about the future or regrets from the past, creating a sense of overwhelm. By bringing your attention to the present moment, you allow your mind to settle, freeing it from unnecessary distractions. Mindfulness fosters clarity, helping you focus fully on what's in front of you. Learning to separate what is within your control from what isn't can drastically reduce mental stress. The stoic principle of the dichotomy of control teaches that only your actions, thoughts and responses are within your power. Recognizing this brings mental freedom as you stop trying to control or worry about things outside your influence. This practice clears away unnecessary anxieties, creating mental peace. Practicing gratitude is a powerful detox for the mind. Dwelling on what's lacking creates a mindset of scarcity and stress, while gratitude shifts focus to what's present and abundant. By reflecting on things you're thankful for, you release the need for constant striving. This focus on appreciation brings joy and contentment, reducing mental clutter associated with unfulfilled desires. Engaging in self-reflection 
is another essential Stoic practice for mental clarity. By examining your thoughts, motives and actions, you gain insight into what truly serves you and what doesn't. This reflection helps you let go of habits or beliefs that cause mental strain, clearing the way for genuine growth. Self-reflection fosters self-awareness, creating a mind that's aligned with your values. Detoxing the mind also involves reducing negative self-talk. Often, the harshest judgments come from within, creating unnecessary guilt or self-doubt. By treating yourself with compassion, you transform this inner dialogue into one of encouragement and kindness. Positive self-talk fosters confidence, replacing mental clutter with thoughts that support your well-being. Setting boundaries for mental space is crucial. Just as physical clutter crowds a room, mental clutter arises when too many obligations or distractions fill your mind. By setting limits on what you take on, you protect your mental clarity. Boundaries create space for rest, focus and creativity, enabling you to approach each day with purpose and calm. Practicing detachment from outcomes helps clear mental stress. The need to control results or predict the future often leads to anxiety and frustration. Detachment allows you to focus on your efforts rather than outcomes, reducing the pressure to force specific results. This mindset brings ease as you learn to work diligently without the mental strain of rigid expectations. Learning to let go of grudges or past hurts is a powerful mental detox. Holding on to resentment keeps the mind trapped in cycles of anger, preventing growth. By forgiving and moving forward, you free your mind from old grievances. This release allows you to focus on the present, creating mental peace and fostering resilience. Developing a practice of silence detoxes the mind by reducing external noise and distractions. In moments of silence, you can reconnect with your inner self, allowing thoughts to settle. This quiet time fosters self-awareness and clarity, providing a break from the constant mental stimulation of daily life. Silence is a sanctuary, one that refreshes the mind and restores balance. Reducing exposure to negative influences helps clear mental clutter. Surrounding yourself with constant negativity, whether through people, news or content, affects your mindset. By choosing positive influences, you create a mental environment that supports optimism and growth. This selective focus clears away negativity, allowing thoughts of hope and possibility to flourish. Embracing impermanence is a stoic practice that releases mental burden. Holding on to the belief that things should remain the same creates fear of change. By accepting that all things evolve, you release attachment to what was, allowing yourself to experience each moment fully. This acceptance clears mental tension, fostering a mindset that is adaptable and open. Creating routines for daily tasks helps reduce mental strain. Routines simplify decision-making as certain tasks become automatic rather than requiring constant thought. This structure frees your mind to focus on more meaningful decisions, reducing fatigue. A routine creates stability, allowing you to approach each day with a calm, organized mindset. Stoicism teaches the value of moderation a practice that prevents overindulgence in thoughts and activities that can clutter the mind. Moderation encourages balance, helping you avoid extremes that drain energy and focus. This practice reduces stress, as you no longer feel the need to constantly strive for more. Balance creates a mental state of calm, allowing for sustainable growth. Practicing non-judgment reduces mental clutter associated with criticism and comparison. Judging others or yourself often creates unnecessary stress as it shifts focus to faults rather than growth. By letting go of judgment, you create a mindset of acceptance, allowing others and yourself to simply be. This approach fosters inner peace, freeing the mind from harsh criticisms. 
Taking time to engage with nature is a natural mental detox. Nature has a calming effect that helps release stress and reconnects you with simplicity. A walk outdoors, time by the water, or moments under the open sky refresh the mind, clearing away worries. Nature fosters mindfulness as its beauty reminds you to focus on the present, creating a peaceful mental state. Recognizing that you are enough as you are clears the mind of constant striving. The pressure to improve endlessly can lead to burnout and self-doubt. By accepting yourself with compassion, you reduce the need to seek validation outside. This self-acceptance creates a sense of peace, allowing you to pursue growth from a place of abundance rather than lack. Detoxing the mind brings clarity and calm, freeing you from mental clutter. Now, with this mental space, you're ready to explore some core Stoic lessons that can help you say goodbye to recurring problems and welcome lasting peace. These Stoic principles are simple yet transformative, offering insights to navigate life's challenges with strength and wisdom. Each lesson helps cultivate inner stability, allowing you to face difficulties with a resilient and peaceful mind. The first lesson emphasizes the importance of focusing on what you can control. Problems often arise from stressing over things beyond your influence. By narrowing your attention to what is within your power, you release unnecessary worries. This mindset clears mental space, empowering you to direct energy toward purposeful actions instead of fruitless concerns. Control over your actions, thoughts and responses provides a foundation for calm amidst chaos. Accepting impermanence is another powerful stoic lesson for peace. Life constantly changes, yet holding on too tightly to how things were can create internal conflict. Embracing change as a natural part of existence frees you from clinging to fixed ideas, allowing you to adapt with grace. This acceptance brings resilience, helping you move forward without fear or attachment to the past. Practicing gratitude shifts focus from problems to blessings. When you cultivate gratitude, you train your mind to recognize what's present rather than what's missing. Gratitude brings peace by reducing desires and fostering contentment with what you have. This shift in perspective helps you face difficulties with a positive outlook, as you see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than setbacks. Learning to let go of the need for validation is a transformative lesson for inner peace. Often, problems stem from seeking approval or fearing judgment from others. Stoicism teaches that self-worth should come from within, rooted in values and actions rather than external opinions. Letting go of this need allows you to live authentically, creating a peaceful confidence that isn't swayed by outside influences. Practicing forgiveness, both for yourself and others, releases the weight of resentment. Holding on to grudges or regrets keeps the mind tied to past hurts, preventing peace. Forgiveness isn't about condoning wrongs, but about choosing to let go for your own well-being. This release frees you from bitterness, opening space for healing and allowing you to move forward with clarity and calm. Detachment from outcomes brings a deep sense of liberation. The Stoics teach that while effort is within our control, outcomes are not always ours to determine. By focusing on the process rather than the result, you reduce anxiety over achieving specific goals. This detachment encourages presence as you learn to value the journey instead of obsessing over the destination. It fosters peace by reducing the pressure to control every outcome. Mindfulness, or the practice of being fully present, is a stoic lesson that helps dissolve worries. The mind often dwells on past mistakes or future fears, creating stress. By centering on the present moment, you allow the mind to settle, letting go of concerns that don't belong to the here and now. Mindfulness builds resilience as each moment becomes a fresh opportunity, 
unburdened by past or future worries. The final Stoic lesson is to cultivate a mindset of resilience. Life's challenges are inevitable, but your response to them is what defines your peace. Building resilience involves embracing difficulties as learning experiences rather than obstacles. This perspective allows you to grow stronger with each setback, creating a foundation of inner strength that remains unshaken by external problems. Resilience transforms challenges into tools for growth, fostering a peaceful mind ready for any situation. Each of these stoic lessons guides you toward a life of peace, free from the mental burdens of unnecessary worries and conflicts. By embracing these teachings, you cultivate a resilient mindset that sees beyond immediate problems, allowing you to live with calm, purpose and clarity. Through these stoic principles, peace becomes a state of mind rather than a fleeting condition, leading to a life of fulfillment and strength. Having embraced stoic lessons to clear obstacles and create inner peace, you're now prepared to direct that calm strength toward achieving your greatest desires. Stoicism offers powerful strategies that help you stay grounded and focused, even as you pursue ambitious goals. These approaches don't rely on luck or willpower alone. They guide you to channel your energy purposefully, cultivate resilience, and remain balanced throughout your journey. Here, each stoic strategy will help you build a mindset that transforms dreams into attainable realities, aligning your actions with your deeper intentions. The first stoic strategy is to clearly define your purpose. When desires are vague or unanchored, they can dissipate over time. By clarifying exactly what you want to achieve and why, you create a focused vision that directs your actions. Defining purpose turns desires into tangible aims giving each effort a clear direction. This clarity of purpose is your compass, keeping you aligned with your deepest goals. Practicing self-discipline is another crucial stoic approach. Self-discipline doesn't mean rigid restriction, but rather choosing actions that bring you closer to your goals over short-term gratification. Developing this discipline builds resilience, helping you stay committed even when motivation fades each small act of self-control strengthens your determination, creating a solid foundation to achieve your desires. Focusing on what you can control is central to stoic strategy. Desires often lead to frustration when they're tied to factors beyond your influence. By centering your energy on actions within your power, you reduce stress and maintain agency. This focus empowers you to act consistently creating momentum toward your goals without becoming entangled in uncontrollable outcomes. Each step taken in control solidifies your progress. Learning to embrace challenges as growth opportunities is another stoic tactic for success. Often, setbacks or difficulties are seen as barriers, but stoicism teaches that these are essential to development. Each challenge strengthens resilience equipping you with the skills needed to overcome future obstacles. Embracing difficulties transforms them from hindrances to valuable teachers, guiding you closer to your desires with each experience. Practicing patience is vital to achieving long-term goals. Desires can create impatience, a need to see results immediately. However, Stoicism teaches that lasting achievements require steady, patient progress. By cultivating patience, you build a mindset that values progress over speed, allowing each step to contribute meaningfully to your goal. Patience fosters a steady commitment, preventing burnout and ensuring that your energy is sustained throughout the journey. Another powerful stoic strategy is to release attachment to specific outcomes. When desires are tied too tightly to one outcome, you risk disappointment if things don't go as planned. Detaching from rigid results allows you to remain adaptable, open to unexpected opportunities that may also fulfill your goals. 
This flexibility reduces frustration, allowing you to navigate the path with resilience and grace. Finally, Stoicism emphasizes gratitude for the journey itself, not just the achievement. Often, the pursuit of desires is filled with experiences, lessons, and growth. By finding fulfillment in each stage of the journey, you prevent desires from becoming a source of constant striving. Gratitude for the journey keeps you balanced, allowing you to experience joy and satisfaction throughout the process, rather than only at the finish line. Together, these stoic strategies create a resilient, purpose-driven mindset that brings you closer to achieving your greatest desires. They empower you to navigate each step with intention, balance and focus, building a path that leads not only to success, but to inner fulfillment. Through Stoic wisdom, your journey toward your dreams becomes as enriching as the destination itself, revealing the strength and potential within you. Achieving your deepest desires through focused Stoic strategies reveals a powerful truth. Aligning your intentions with your actions is a key to success. Yet, there is an additional layer to manifesting goals that Stoicism and the Law of Attraction both touch upon. This is the practice of intention, of focused energy directed inward, sometimes referred to as prayer or meditation. When approached from a place of deep clarity and conviction, this inner practice becomes a powerful tool for aligning with life's flow and attracting what you seek. The way you hold these intentions, your mindset, and the inner alignment with your desires all play a part in bringing what you want closer to you. The first step in effective prayer or focused intention is clarity. Before reaching out for something, be certain about what it is you truly seek. Ambiguous wishes rarely find solid footing as the lack of clarity leads to scattered focus. Clear intention acts like a magnet, creating a pathway for energy to flow. This precise clarity of what you want guides each of your efforts as your energy becomes unified in purpose. The next element is belief. Without genuine faith in what you're asking for, doubt can erode your intention. Belief reinforces the desire, embedding it within your core mindset. Faith in yourself and your potential is a vital part of the stoic approach to intention setting, and this unwavering belief becomes a stabilizing force that fuels your actions with conviction. Gratitude in advance is another transformative practice. By expressing thanks as if what you seek is already present, you open yourself to receive. This gratitude elevates your mindset, moving you away from lack or desperation. When you feel gratitude before receiving, it aligns your energy with abundance rather than longing creating an inviting space for desires to manifest. Detachment from specific outcomes is equally essential. While holding an intention is powerful, becoming overly attached to a precise form of it can create tension. By focusing on the essence of your desire rather than specific details, you release the need to control how it unfolds. This flexibility allows your intention to take shape in its natural way, often leading to results that exceed expectations. Focus on alignment with your values, not just outcomes. Desires rooted in superficial wants often fade, but those connected to your core values have lasting power. Reflect on whether your desire aligns with your beliefs and values. This alignment acts as a foundation strengthening your intention and ensuring that what you seek will enhance your life rather than create conflict. Visualizing your goal as a reality is another powerful step. By seeing yourself already in possession of what you seek, you create a mental blueprint that guides your actions. Visualization turns intention into a lived experience within your mind, embedding it deeply. This mental rehearsal sets a course for your actions as each step becomes a movement toward what you've already envisioned. 
Persistence and patience work together to keep your intention alive without creating pressure. Effective prayer or focused intention is steady and enduring rather than rushed or forceful. By holding your intention over time with gentle focus, you maintain a continuous connection to it. Patience shows confidence in the process as you trust that your effort and alignment will yield results when the time is right. The inner strength to release doubts is essential. Doubt can cloud even the most powerful intentions, creating obstacles from within. By practicing stoic confidence and affirming belief in your worthiness, you release these mental blocks. This inner faith sharpens your focus as your energy is no longer diluted by uncertainties. Strong belief keeps your intentions clear and uninterrupted. Balanced focus is key. Holding on to your intention without fixation keeps your energy aligned without creating dependency. When you focus too heavily on the outcome, it can turn into obsession, which creates stress. By balancing your attention on the present actions that support your goal, you nurture it gently, allowing it to grow in its own time. Regular reflection ensures your desires stay aligned with your growth. Over time, intentions may evolve, and reflecting on them allows you to adapt accordingly. This reflection keeps your intentions fresh as they continue to mirror your current values and aspirations. Adaptability keeps the process dynamic, preventing stagnation and keeping your connection to the desire alive. Embrace humility within your intentions. Recognizing that there may be a broader plan beyond your understanding creates peace with outcomes, even when they differ from what you initially envisioned. Humility is grounding, as it keeps you open to life's unfolding. By surrendering your need to know or control every detail, you open space for unexpected blessings that may align even better with your path. Invite peace into your intentions, allowing calmness to be the core of your prayer. Anxiety or worry disrupts intention by shifting focus to fear. By practicing a calm approach to desire, you keep your intentions free of stress. Peace in intention. Setting creates a steady, unwavering energy that aligns naturally with your goals, free from the interference of stress or doubt. Consistency in your thoughts, actions and intentions strengthens your manifestation process. When your intentions waver, they lose momentum. By keeping your focus steady and actions aligned with your goal, you create a continuous stream of energy directed toward it. This unwavering consistency builds a powerful force as each action reinforces your commitment to the desire. Allow space for gratitude beyond just the desired outcome. Gratitude for the journey, the lessons, and even the delays enriches your process. Each moment becomes a part of the fulfillment, reducing the sense of separation between where you are and where you want to be. This gratitude invites more to appreciate as you see each step as a meaningful part of your path. Align your intentions with self-awareness. Know your strengths, limits and motives as these guide the purity of your desires. When intentions are rooted in genuine self-knowledge, they have a stronger foundation. This authenticity creates a direct connection between you and your goal, as your intention reflects a true part of yourself rather than external influences. With these approaches, intention setting becomes a powerful, transformative process that aligns you with the flow of life. It's not about wishing and waiting, but about clear, deliberate alignment with your values, actions, and beliefs. Through this stoic approach, your intentions grow in strength and resilience, becoming magnetic forces that draw what you seek into your life naturally and with purpose. Building powerful intentions that align with a clear vision inner peace and gratitude lays the groundwork for a resilient spirit. However, to truly cultivate an unbreakable mind, one that can withstand life's tests and thrive under any condition, 
Stoicism offers profound guidance from the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca. These 19 Stoic principles are not just ideas, but practices that strengthen your mental core, helping you remain steady and composed, regardless of what life presents. Here, each principle will deepen your inner strength, creating a foundation of resilience and balance that empowers you to face every challenge with clarity and calm. The first principle is understanding the dichotomy of control, one of Stoicism's cornerstones. By clearly distinguishing between what is within your control, your thoughts, choices and actions, and what is beyond it, you free yourself from wasted energy on things you cannot change. This focus brings inner peace as you align your efforts with what you can influence, fostering a sense of personal agency that is unshaken by external circumstances. Embracing the present moment builds resilience by rooting you in the here and now. Dwelling on the past or worrying about the future scatters your focus and weakens your mental state. Stoicism teaches that true power lies in fully engaging with the present, where actions are taken and growth occurs. This mindful presence nurtures clarity, enabling you to respond thoughtfully instead of reacting impulsively. Practicing acceptance of life's impermanence cultivates a grounded perspective. Clinging to permanence creates fear and anxiety as life is inherently in flux. By accepting the temporary nature of all things, you develop a sense of peace, knowing that each moment, good or bad, is part of a continuous cycle. This acceptance fosters adaptability, helping you navigate life's changes with resilience. Self-discipline is a stoic trait that strengthens the mind by prioritizing purpose over fleeting desires. Exercising control over impulses builds confidence and reinforces your ability to make choices aligned with your values. Self-discipline reduces regret, as each action reflects thoughtful intention rather than impulse. This mastery over self creates a foundation of stability, empowering you to pursue your goals with unwavering focus. Developing the ability to let go of what does not serve you is crucial for mental resilience. Whether it's grudges, past mistakes, or unproductive thoughts, releasing what holds you back creates mental clarity and frees emotional energy. This release allows you to focus on growth, strengthening your resolve to move forward. Letting go becomes a liberating practice, making room for peace and personal evolution. Cultivating gratitude, even in challenging situations, builds an unbreakable mind by shifting focus from lack to abundance. Gratitude teaches you to find value in each experience, viewing challenges as opportunities for growth. This perspective fosters inner strength as you learn to appreciate what you have rather than fixating on what's missing. Gratitude brings peace creating a mindset that is resilient to negativity. Practicing humility grounds your mind, fostering openness and a willingness to learn. Humility teaches you to view yourself with honesty, recognizing strengths and areas for improvement without ego. By embracing humility, you remain open to growth as arrogance no longer hinders your progress. This balance creates inner security freeing you from the need for constant validation. Patience is a virtue that builds endurance and calm. In a world that often seeks immediate gratification, patience teaches you the value of steady, consistent effort. By cultivating patience, you reduce stress and approach goals with a balanced mindset. This endurance fosters resilience as you're able to persist through challenges without feeling rushed or pressured. Seeking wisdom through learning and reflection enhances mental strength. Stoicism values the pursuit of knowledge as wisdom provides insight and clarity. By learning continuously, you equip yourself with tools to handle life's complexities. Wisdom grounds you as each lesson strengthens your understanding of self and the world, 
creating a resilient foundation of knowledge. The practice of empathy fosters mental resilience by creating meaningful connections. Understanding others' perspectives reduces conflict and enhances compassion, both of which build emotional strength. Empathy transforms relationships as you learn to listen without judgment, allowing for greater harmony and mutual respect. This connection reinforces peace as empathy bridges divides and fosters unity. Living with purpose is a stoic principle that directs your energy toward meaningful pursuits. A life guided by purpose remains focused and resilient, even amid distractions. Purpose acts as an anchor, grounding you in values and guiding each choice with intention. This alignment with purpose enhances mental clarity as each step feels connected to a larger vision, empowering you to overcome setbacks. Balancing logic and emotion strengthens your mind, enabling thoughtful responses over impulsive reactions. While emotions are natural, Stoicism teaches that logic provides stability. By evaluating situations with a balanced perspective, you create mental equilibrium. This balance fosters resilience as you respond with wisdom rather than being swayed by fleeting feelings. Practicing forgiveness, both for yourself and others, releases burdens that weigh down the mind. Holding on to resentment or guilt creates internal conflict, draining mental energy. Forgiveness, on the other hand, frees you from these burdens, allowing you to focus on growth. This release cultivates inner peace as forgiveness clears space for clarity and progress. Embracing adversity as a teacher is a stoic mindset that builds resilience. Challenges are inevitable, but seeing them as opportunities for growth transforms how you approach difficulties. Each setback becomes a lesson, a stepping stone that strengthens you. This perspective creates an unbreakable mindset as adversity no longer intimidates but inspires growth. Developing inner stillness helps calm a busy mind. Stillness is the practice of quieting internal chatter, creating a mental space of peace. This calmness enhances clarity as it allows you to observe thoughts without being consumed by them. Inner stillness fosters resilience as it provides a sanctuary from life's noise, helping you remain centered and focused. The principle of non-attachment reduces mental strain by freeing you from the need to control outcomes. Non-attachment teaches you to value the journey over specific results, reducing stress. This mindset allows you to remain open to possibilities without disappointment, fostering a resilient outlook. Non-attachment encourages flexibility as you navigate life's changes with grace and balance. Self-reflection is a powerful stoic tool for personal growth. Regularly examining your actions, thoughts and motives provides insight, helping you align more closely with your values. This reflection fosters accountability as you identify areas for improvement. Self-awareness builds resilience as it equips you with the knowledge to face life with confidence and clarity. Seeking balance in all things strengthens your mental state. Stoicism values moderation, encouraging a life that avoids extremes. By practicing balance, you create stability, as excess and deficiency both lead to dissatisfaction. This moderation enhances resilience, helping you approach life with a calm, grounded mindset that supports well-being. Aligning with these stoic principles you cultivate an unbreakable mind, fortified by clarity, resilience and wisdom. Each principle serves as a guide, strengthening your ability to remain composed, focused and fulfilled, regardless of life's challenges. Through these teachings from Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus and Seneca, you forge a mindset that can weather any storm, creating a life that is both meaningful and resilient. As we've explored, a life without complications isn't about avoiding challenges. It's about mastering the art of resilience, clarity and intentionality. 
Stoic principles teach us to strip away what doesn't serve us, to prioritize inner peace and to live with purpose. By embracing simplicity, letting go of control and focusing on what truly matters, we create a life rooted in freedom and strength. Each practice, from cultivating gratitude to setting boundaries, builds a foundation for lasting peace and fulfillment, helping us navigate life with a calm, unbreakable spirit. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What stoic principle resonates with you the most? Let us know in the comments. Your insights could inspire someone else on their own journey toward a simpler, more fulfilling life. If you found value in this, don't forget to subscribe for more on Stoicism and the tools to live with strength and purpose. Until next time, keep cultivating that inner peace and remember, true power comes from within.